And we are now live, running multiple trains. And we've even got a, uh, a small shunter ready to go for a long trip. It's got everything it needs, coal, water. Should be good. Anyway, in, uh, in all seriousness, uh, I do uh, suggest everyone uh, go check out the description of this video where I put a link to a uh, particular member of the model railroading community. His name is uh, Sparky107107. He's got a special program going on for uh, everyone. I help the entire community out, so I highly suggest you all go check that out. We'll uh, see how uh, that old program goes out, but I thought hey, I'll promote it. So yeah, everyone go check out his channel and go uh, check out his series of videos. He's done a few on the expansion. What is going on with this locomotive? Uh-oh. Ah, it just derailed. We're running all lifelike power, I just realized, too. That little dock side's a lifelike, as well as my... Uh, I think it's a GP40, I don't know. I just uh, fixed this fix this locomotive up so uh, I just figured hey why don't we uh, why don't we get it going I'm cleaning the shop oh, good for you Dan I've done a bit of cleaning in the basement myself anyway um, as for people joining in we've got SC Railroad Wisconsin Northwestern Railroad just your average doughboy Rio does thing Phoenix Smith Michael Honda Rex uh, Firth the God who said what's up truckers uh, Rails of Chicago and Beyond, Joseph Bat, CJ Trains, Oof, Old Yeller, Telly Salmon, Little Kev, uh, Mega Train Lover, how's the Varney Loco? I think it's doing well, I found a tender for it last night and I got it all hooked up, so that's good. I think, I'm not sure about this, but I don't know, this tender I feel fits it really well, so I'm, I'm really, they don't look the same, but I don't know. Like, I find it funny how that's painted and that's not, but they look like they could be compatible. New England Model Railroader, welcome. Ryan Loco Punk, Austin in Block. Aero Dysfunctional, Union Pacific Lover, W09. SC Railroad, we don't ask for uh, shout outs on this channel. There are rules about that. Uh, of course, we've got Dirty Dan. Jim's Reviews, for the God. Jan Jax, okay, I'm not pronouncing that. Michael Ponder, what is that loco? I don't know much about it to be honest. Derek Olivia, welcome. Uh, Iron John Oaks, Weber Arts or G Weber, I guess. Nathan Essel, uh, Train Boy, Celia Mustache. Lucas Kane, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Typical, I see the ATSF-040 is going on a long trip with that tender. Oh, it sure is. It's getting prepared to, yeah, go on a uh, North America-wide road trip, I guess. I don't know. Hey, SMT, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing well, shoe scientist. I'm doing well. How are you? William Gann? Do you have any Illinois Centrals? Pretty sure I do. I don't. Yeah, I don't know where they would be at the moment. Who's ready for tons of shout-out requests and locomotive requests? Well, I'm. I'm uh, quite ready for at least one side of that uh, spectrum. Not so much the other. Lone Wolf, welcome, William Tillet. Uh, Hayden, now oh, run the daylight. The diesel daylight. As long as the tender looks good and works well, all good. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, SMT, what are those videos with the music stuff certain decades called? We talked about them on a different stream. Oh, yes, uh, they're called Remember Videos. Uh, so you can type in, like, Remember 1966, 1966, and it, uh, it kind of ties up all the media together. So they play, like, clips of movies... Uh, the background is all music from that decade, uh, from that year, and uh, yeah, it's media, news events, all sorts of stuff. I, I've always really enjoyed them. I was talking about them in a previous stream for anybody who uh, doesn't know what we're talking about. Wisconsin Northwestern Railroad, hello. Um, why no shoutouts? Uh, well, it's a stream about running trains. Uh, I mean, I give shoutouts to certain 
you know, like there are, I've got rules about shout outs, but, uh, you know, the stream's about running trains, not about just giving people shout outs. Chakri Maisonuv, welcome to the live stream. How are you doing? Can we please see the Yellowstone is, Yellowstone's, uh, on the uh, restoration shelf. It's right back there. Uh, David Z to G scale, welcome to the live stream. And uh, David says, hello, all the shout out policy is 10 away from 50, 100, 150, etc. Absolutely. Thanks for uh, specifying that to everyone. SMT, why do you have uh, night statues in the corner? My uh, family takes Halloween very seriously, and years ago my mom found those online, and uh, we kind of couldn't help ourselves. So uh, every Halloween, uh, the two uh, the two night statues uh, go out on the front. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure most people will think we're crazy. Maybe we we really are kind of, but uh, I uh, I've I've always got a kick out of seeing them out there. Honestly, it's 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 fun. Uh, train fan GT second channel. Hey, how's it going? Did I miss anything? Not much, uh, but uh, yeah, you're not you're not you're not too late to the stream. Um, Zachary means I'm having the guy of yesterday. Yeah, how's the golden steamer going? I've had problems with it. This little screw keeps popping out. I don't know why. SMT, can you run the Black Lima CN? I'm sure we could probably run that one. Yeah. So what have you got running? We've got a lifelike 040, loaded up with all sorts of different supplies, and we've got a uh, another lifelike uh, Ontario Northland holding uh, uh, hauling around uh, various train. Uh, Frank Schneid, hello Harrison. Did you know there is a store selling vintage trains in Harrisonville, Missouri? And oh, I was not aware of that. That's pretty funny. I like that. Uh, SMT, if you can't point a vote, boiler face for it, the Varney, for Varney, uh, make one from styrene plastic. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking over various options to do something about that. I, I do want to cover the front of the loco up with something, but I'm just not entirely sure how I should, uh, how I should go about that. So I think, uh, yeah, first, well, there's one person who says they're going to try to make me one, so we'll see how that goes, if, but, uh, yeah, I'll let... I'll let them try first, and if that doesn't work out, then I'll uh, I'll try to shop for one. And then if that doesn't work out, I'll try manufacturing one myself. Random dude, the sequel. Thanks. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna run that to uh, Lima. It's a uh, Canadian National locomotive. It's this one right here, actually. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Otter Valley Model Railroad. Welcome to the live stream. I don't even know if I have it set to live chat. There we go, live chat. Very good. Um, can you run the Acela? <laughs> Probably. We'll, we'll run this one for a little while first, though. In terms of eBay, do you have specific people you purchase from? No, not really. I just kind of... If I see something on eBay that I really like, I'll buy it. But I, I don't shop on eBay that much, uh, to be honest with you. I just don't find the deals are that great. I mean, you, once in a while, maybe you're uh, you're lucky and you find a really good deal. But most of the time, I find uh, it's way overpriced. Make it a Thomas train. No, we don't want that. <laughs> What's the steam locomotive on the road? Um, are you talking about the one beside the road here? This one or that one? Uh, do you think that you will be quite interested to buy some Bachman? Uh, no, I, I don't... <laughs> Not with today's uh, regulations. I'm not really interested in buying uh, any blue tank engine equipment, especially from Bachman. <laughs> that would uh, that would be trouble. Can you run the F forty PH? That one uh, needs to be uh, relubricated as well, like I did with the lifelike. 
Rad Force One, welcome to the live stream. Can you run your Shark No Southern Pacific locomotive? Shark No Southern Pacific. Yeah, yeah, we haven't run that one in a while, actually. Uh, Zachary Maisonev, you can call me Zachary Newhouse. All right. Uh, South Aussie Train Spotter, welcome to the live stream. What's your favorite model train company? Um, I've got a few. I don't really have one specific favorite. I really like. Uh, for brand new top of the line stuff, uh, it's Rapido. For older, reliable use stuff, it's uh, Ather and Blue Box equipment. I find that stuff's pretty good. And uh, for bottom of the barrel, uh, it's Lifelike. I really like Lifelike. Yeah, I'm a bit of a I'm a, I'm a Lifelike fan. And a lot of people don't get that, but I don't know. They're uh, they're one of my favorite makes actually. But again, that's bottom of the barrel. It's like for each category, uh, they all uh, win a certain sector. Do you have an SD40-2? Yeah, I've got a few of those. I think I've got four uh, SD40-2s. Uh, SMT, do you know that Walter's Amtrak Viewliners are rare? I bought one with LED interior. For really, they're priced $60 American. Ah, good for you. Do you have any European trains? Um... It's funny you mention. I've got a few British, uh, British pieces, but uh, not too much. The vast majority of my collection is uh, North American. There we are. Uh, Broadway Limited is fairly good. I've heard mixed things about them. Uh, my own uh, Broadway Limited locomotive, uh, I've, I'm pretty impressed with, but um, I can't say. Uh, I can't say I've heard uh, entirely great things about them. Hey, SMT, which is better, Canadian National or Canadian Pacific? Uh, my personal preference is Canadian National, but uh, it's not based on all that much. I just like uh, their paint scheme uh, better. It's not really like a comprehensive look at them, uh, you know, like how they're operated and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. That's weird. Oh, it's a switch. Yeah, I think that's enough of that one. I'm going to take this off the uh, this train off the main line, and then we can uh, run the Acela, which uh, a lot of people have requested. So there's that. Uh, hi, I just started watching your videos. They're awesome. Keep up the good work. And where in your house is the layout? Uh, so, uh, Awesome Gamer, thanks for, uh, your support. Uh, it's in the, it's in the basement. Um, NYC J1 Hudson Productions. Hey, SMT, I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. Run your Broadway Limited Canadian National. Sure, we can run that one. I'm gonna run the Acela first, though, because, uh, that one was requested first. Uh... Yes, it is brand new to the sequel. Uh, do you have any Union Pacific locomotives? Yeah, I've got a couple of Centennials and uh, a few other random uh, UP locos. Uh, watching this while doing my schoolwork. Ah, good for you. Multitasking. All right, let's go dig up that Acela locomotive. Oh, that was easy to find. Can you run the Southern Pacific Daylight with steam and diesel? Uh, I can't. Uh, I feel like I'm going to have to put the Southern Pacific steam locomotive on the track just to prove to people. Because everybody keeps requesting it and I keep saying it's not running. It, it really doesn't run. It's, it's gone from... It's gone from bad to worse. I need to work on it. Yeah, there we are. Hey, SMT, if there was a fire in your basement, what locomotive couldn't you mind getting burned up? Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can answer that question. Uh, 
Hey, SMT, maybe you could live stream the Yellowstone restoration project since you haven't done a live stream project in a while. The Yellowstone is going to be months of a project. That's not the type of thing I can just sit down and uh, put together. I'm going to be working on that one for a lot, long time because some of, uh, and, and, and you can't, some videos I do, I do them all in one go, but other videos I, uh, I actually, like, I do one segment and then I run into a problem and then I... Uh, I just think about the what the problem is and, and try to figure out different ways to uh, to fix it. So sometimes my videos have actually been filmed over the course of like a couple days. Um, and I try to make it so they're all one part, but uh, I do uh, I do run into problems sometimes. Hey, SMT in the future, can you have a new layout that has a ranch house and train yard? I might be able to build one below the layout, but I've uh, pretty much maxed out uh, as much space as I can uh, take over down here. I'm working on a Southern Pacific AC4400 to watching this. Oh, that's cool. Um, do you like the Boston and Maine Railroad? I do. Uh, yeah, Boston and Maine and the Maine Central. Great paint schemes. Uh, can you run the Microsoft Custom Train? Yes, we can run that one. How long has it taken you to build your layout? It's sort of hard to say because uh, there was a point where I wasn't really working on the layout that much for a few years, and also I've redone the layout. You know, it's not like I started it and got it to where it is today. It's like I started it and then redid it, started it and redid it. But overall, I've been it. This layout was started uh, in two thousand seven, so. Been at it for a while. Do a video of fixing the daylight. I've tried to fix the daylight. That's the biggest problem. It's It's got a serious issue, which uh, likely can't be replaced without... Uh, it likely can't be fixed without replacing parts. That's the main problem. Uh, the only real reason I respect for Bachman is the Bluetooth locomotives, because it's hard to fit Bluetooth into a locomotive. I don't know how it's done, but in, as far as I know, I don't think it'd be terribly difficult. I mean, you can fit Bluetooth chips in the tiniest of things. I see at dollar stores, you can buy these little Bluetooth buttons and stuff like that. Like, Bluetooth is not a complicated thing. It's been around for a long time. Um, I, 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 I highly doubt it's, it's complex, whatever they've installed to allow that to work. Train Fan 2001 welcome to the live stream. SMT, the silver round one by the road. Uh, the silver round one. Yeah, I'm sorry. I still don't know which one you're talking about. Uh, I've never heard SMT say big bad words. Oh, no, I've, I've said some doozies of swear words. Usually it's within context. I'm uh, not a person who likes swearing for the sake of swearing, but uh, when uh, when I really want to emphasize a point, I, I won't I won't fret to, uh, to 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 add a swear to give it that extra punch. I don't do it often, but uh, if anybody was uh, on the stream where the Acela flew off the layout, uh, I uh, I had a whole vocabulary for that uh, that little incident. I was not. I was not happy about that. Uh, Bright Future Studios. Hello. Uh, in the future, after you did the tough guy scene, can you put your daylight on display in the logging layout? I probably will. Uh, what's the main problem with Broadway Limited? I personally haven't experienced any problems with Broadway Limited, but uh, a lot of I've, I've seen other people say, "Oh, my loco seized up," or the decoder went bad. Um, so, uh, yeah, again, I never personally have, but, like, um, I, I don't think I've ever heard a person complain about Atherin Blue Box, and I don't experience problems with Atherin Blue Box, so, you know, I, I, again, I, my, uh, sort of thesis for how well a locomotive works is usually based, it's half my experience and half of, kind of, like, what I hear in general from the community, um, doesn't mean it's 100% reliable, but uh, I find uh, I find generally it works pretty well. Uh, more likely, the drivers on your daylight are out of quarter. That's exactly what the problem is. 
100% what the problem is. The trouble is trying to fix that. That's not an easy thing to do. Uh, it's Nerf Productions. Welcome. I think he means the streamlined locomotive on the sidetrack that crosses the road. Okay, so that's the Hiawatha. Okay, I can kind of see, yeah, the rounded silver locomotive. <laughs> Uh, what's the Acela Crash live stream called? I don't remember. I don't even know if it's online anymore. It's uh, been captured by uh, many people, though. Uh, you can find videos of uh, of it in like SMT fail compilations. Uh, I think I, I I uploaded the crash personally uh, when uh, I did a video called "My Acela Express Is Cursed," and you can see the crash scene uh, if you want to go watch that. Pretty tragic. Um, hey, SMT, I found a bunch of old lifelike and Tyco's engines in my garage. Turned one into a dummy. And the other one I'm going to restore. Nice. I bet he cursed plenty when he drilled into his finger. No, no swearing that time. I was more in shock. That was... I'm not going to go into detail, but that was a pretty graphic moment. Didn't, didn't like that that much. You know those... Uh, Old westerns where you have the uh, oil. Uh, ah, gee, I don't know what it's called. You know, the, the oil tower and it starts spraying everywhere uh, for a few seconds. Let's just say it looked like that. <laughs> Good times. Hey, SMT, how big would your dream layout be? Ah, that's a good question. I don't know. It'd be pretty fun to, uh, if let's say like I ever won the lottery to buy like a warehouse and build a layout inside that. But, uh, there's not a specific size I can think of. Hey, SMT, Canadian food is horrible. No, it's not. Uh, I've only had a speaker blow in a BLW. Gray and yellow one by the yellow house. Yes, okay, it is the Hiawatha. What's the worst locomotive uh, design ever built in real life? Um, I'm not sure. I've always thought it would be cool to make an NASCAR layout with really banked curves to do hopper price high-speed locomotive racing. I don't think anybody in the hobby's ever done that, at least not that I've ever seen or heard of, but uh, that that that's yeah, certainly wins some creativity points, at least for me, if you did something like that. Do you think you can run the trolley on the trolley line? If I can find the cord for my power pack, I still need to label all of them. I don't know which is which. Okay, I'm going to plug in this random cord. Let's see if that does it. I don't even know if the trolley's on the track, to be honest with you. Let's have a look here. Okay, we're gonna give this thing some power. I could put it on full speed and then just... keep plugging in things until it does something. Okay, so, cord number one. It's not the right one. Let's try the second one. This one looks like it could be a power pack cord. Nope, it's not that one either. The slightly more slender one. Nope, not the slender one. I could follow the cord from the power pack. That might work. Okay, I've concluded. I think it's this one right here. So prepare to see the trolley go flying. Yep, it was that one. Hey, SMT, could you stage a train collision? Oh, I don't want to crash my trains. Plus, frankly, if uh, you st stick around the stream for a while, I'm sure you'll see at least one good crash. There usually is one per stream. So, uh, you don't even need... I don't need a stage uh, crashes. They just they just happen here. Uh, Wyatt Bridges, I just joined. You're a great YouTuber. Thank you. What's the best Thomas song? I don't know. I don't know them by name. I guess the opening one. I haven't, uh... I haven't watched that show in probably over 15 years. I'm 
No auto reverse circuit. No, I don't have anything that fancy for the trolley yet. Run the runaway train. Maybe. I don't know if uh, all the local. I think the locomotives are not in a bunch right now because I'm trying to organize my shelves. What's your favorite restored steam locomotive? Uh, UP4014? I don't know. Hey, SimT, do you recommend getting into N scale? My personal preference is HO scale, but uh, N scale is not a bad scale, uh, especially if you want to build like a big freight yard or something like that and you don't have a lot of space, N scale is a great option. But uh, if you have the space, I would go with HO. But that's, that's just me. Do you know about Seaboard Systems? I have a Seaboard Systems locomotive, actually. I got that, but I don't know a ton about the uh, railroad. Hey, SMT, I bought a Bachman Spectrum Pensy K4 for $80. And it has a low runtime. Oh, good for you. Uh, why do you tend to run most older DC locomotives over newer stuff? Uh, generally just because they're simpler and the majority of my collection's old DC locomotives. I mean, I probably have about 25 DCC locomotives, but, um, that's 20, that's 25 out of 250, so it's just because most things people request happen to be, uh, DC. How many locomotives do you have? About, about 250. I don't have exact numbers on it, but, uh, rough, rough, roughly in that range. Matthew Gettys, welcome. This is Workshop. Hello. Did you get the Thomas the Magic Railroad DVD or VHS? Uh, I have. I had it on DVD when I was a kid, uh, but that's long gone. I don't know whatever happened to it. Unique model trains. Welcome. Uh, so my way of getting back into model railroading was by buying an eight IHC Erie passenger cars. Nice. You run your biggest steam locomotive. Is there another Hiawatha back to the next to the H? Yeah, no, I've got, I've got, I've got two of them. I've, this one's a, uh, this one's new. I, I got this one as a gift in 2013, and then this one's my grandmother's one. So uh, they're both. I should do a comparison between them because uh, it, it might be sort of interesting because they're. Uh, I mean, they're 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 from different worlds basically. You should play Runaway Train by Bon Jovi if you run the Runaway Train consist. Uh, I wish I could. Hey, SMT, what's your favorite American locomotive? SP4449. Actually, I guess that's my favorite restored steam locomotive, 4449, because that, I was trying to think of, because some stuff like uh, UP844, you know, it never was taken out of service. Um, but SP4449, that did sit in a, uh, it was abandoned for a while, if I'm not mistaken, so, uh, yeah, it'd be 4449. Can you run a train on the new layout? Uh, I don't have any controller hooked up to it currently. What's the worst locomotive you've ever owned, past or present? Well, I mean, uh, in terms of build quality, there was that play art locomotive I was running uh, a couple streams back. That thing's not so good, but uh, I don't know. I've had, I've bought stuff like I bought that steam locomotive that was a real pain in the neck to get working. But I, I don't hate that locomotive. It's a really nice looking locomotive, but it was hard to work on. So there's not like it's like if there was a locomotive. If I went to a train show and I found a locomotive that I absolutely hate, I I just wouldn't buy it. You know, so there's, there's not anything that's really, really bad. All right, let's get some new stuff on here. Like the Broadway Limited. A lot of people are requesting uh, that one, so we'll get that. Um, go, Vera, go home. Did I miss the ORN logo? SNT, can you hit me up with an LRC locomotive? Oh, yeah, we can, we can run that. Um, yeah, I was running the... Uh, the Ontario uh, 
Northland uh, locomotive earlier in the live stream is running really well. I uh, just finished restoring it, actually. So here I'll get I'll get the uh, LRC queued up there, and find the Broadway Limited. Where is that? Uh, Where the fancy devil is. Um, does the Hiawatha run? They both run to some extent. This one is a little bit of a princess, and that one's giving me problems too, mostly with derailing, but it's pretty, pretty good. What's the hardest part about building a layout? Uh, planning it, that's uh, probably, I mean, it, you have to know what you're doing with the construction. If you screw up little things like the rail joiners and the track's not even, you're going to have problems. But uh, it's deciding what you want, I find, uh, can be the trickiest thing. Because, you know, the thing is, if you build the layout, um, you know, you're going to be, in some cases, unless you're willing to redo your layout over and over and over again, you're going to be stuck with that for a long time. So, you know, better make it something that you like, otherwise... Uh, <laughs> You know, if I were to say something to, though to somebody getting into the hobby the first time, I would say don't over plan it, I guess. I mean, you want to build something that you like, but frankly, the first time you build a layout, like it, it's like I've this is my original layout, this is the one I've grown up with my entire life, but that's very rare. Most people in the hobby they build their initial layout, they learn from that. And then by the time uh, they've kind of got experienced in, in constructing stuff, um, that's it for their first layout, and they rip it all up and they start all over again. So, um, which is not a bad way to go about it. But uh, in my case, I don't want to do that because I'm quite attached to it. But, uh, yeah, that's something that uh, most people do. Okay, um, this locomotive is number 7944. I'm not sure if I programmed it to that, but I'll try here. Okay, is it going to start? Could It might just still be programmed to 3. I don't know, to be honest. It's not making any noise. Uh, yeah, let's try three. That will probably get it going. Yep, it's still programmed to three. All right, let's get this thing going. We're going to pick up some cars. Hey, SMT, I have an old River Rossi Southern Pacific. AC 12 cap forward locomotive means restorations. Could you fix it? Uh, send me an email about that, and we can uh, discuss it. Uh, do you follow Thunderbolt Sirens Productions? I don't follow him. I've uh, I've seen his videos though. The Hiawatha is the Hiawatha runs. <laughs> oh, this locomotive. Have you ever considered S scale? It'd be nice between HO. I mean, S scale is cool, but there's not a lot you can buy. Like my hobby shop has only had a few. Uh, S scale items within the entire history of uh, them being there, and they didn't have much of it. And then once they sold it off, they never replaced it. So clearly, it was not a hot item to uh, carry. I'll turn that off there. <laughs> you know, Broadway Limited engines—they've been really, really—they've been given a serious gear reduction so that they, uh, you know, run at prototypical speeds, but. This is full speed right now, like, <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous if I'm honest. Well, it might have not reached full speed right now because it's also got, uh, whatever it's called, momentum. It's got built-in momentum. What would you do if you had Lackawanna Steam that was DCC ready? I'd probably leave it DCC ready, to be honest. <laughs> SMT, can we run an Amtrak locomotive with some passenger cars? Yeah, po possibly. Uh, what scale do you th least... Uh, which scale do you like the least? I personally don't like this because I don't see the peel behind it. Um... I wouldn't say that I hate any scales, but I would say the G scale is probably the least practical scale 
I mean, if you have like a garden or something like that, I'm sure it's a lot of fun. I've never worked with it, so it's probably not fair for me to say. But um, I can't imagine you could build too big an operation. Like, can you imagine trying to build a freight yard in G-Scale? So I guess it would be G-Scale, but that doesn't mean I dislike it. I still think it's a cool scale. SMT, have you seen Unstoppable? I watched Unstoppable when it came out in the theaters. It was a, yeah, that was, that was, that was cool to watch. Our uh, shop has a DC engine that has sound at startup, like DCC, but without DCC. Pretty cool. Huh, that's interesting. My local, uh, local train tourism is doing free online tours of the museum. Wow, that's interesting. Hey, SMT, will you ever give away any of your locals or rolling stock? Uh, it's a possibility, yeah. Especially with how uh, things are going. I've, I've got a few locomotives I think I'd be willing to uh, part ways with, honestly. So I'll have to go through. What was the best train show you've ever been to? I don't know if this is the best train show because it was really just a market, but the, um, the OVAR flea markets are something uh, that I always really enjoy because they're... Uh, you can just buy so much really cool stuff and it's dirt cheap. Like I've never, like the flea market I've never seen, like it's it's kind of like prices of a train show cut in half. Like it's crazy the deals that you see. It's just, people are just trying to get rid of stuff. So I always have uh, a bit of a field day with, <laughs> with those going and buying all these interesting pieces and I go around and I find strange stuff. I love doing videos too and the vendors are nice. So yeah, I guess it would be the flea markets. But I don't know in terms of train shows what would be my favorite. Ottawa used to have some great train shows. I wish those were still going on. Uh, I'm going to send you my H.O. Polar Express and let you review it. Oh, that sounds exciting. I like that idea. Uh, have you ever seen the steam engines at Science and Technology, like CN64? Yo, I've seen those, yeah. I've probably seen those engines since I was months old, honestly. Well, uh, yeah, I've, I've been going to that museum for forever i also went in the uh warehouse in the back uh i think it was in the summer late summer of 2011 i got to visit the um the warehouse in the back where they have all sorts of other stuff including a sea liner which i don't actually remember but i might become a member of that might just become a member of that place mayonnaise hi i haven't been here in a while oh welcome back uh, my favorite American steam locomotive would have to be Big Boy. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty iconic. I get the appeal of it. It's not... Uh, I mean, it's really cool, but for me, it just... I don't know. I don't really have any connection to it. Um, can you run the seaboard system locomotive? Yeah, we could run that. I was also supposed to run a different locomotive. I think it was the Kool-Aid one. I'm pretty sure somebody requested that. Let's switch this one. What's your best pulling loco, SMT? Uh, either any of my Rapido engines or uh, that new Varney engine with the seven pull motor. I'm sure those both probably have some uh, incredible pulling capacity. Broadway Limited engine might too, I don't know, but it's not a very big engine, so you can only put so much weight in it. Uh, I feel like I'm getting ignored. Okay, guys, I never ignore anybody's comments unless they're unsavory, but, you know, there's uh, there's 130 people in here right now, so there are a few comments m might slip by. Sometimes just due to the algorithm. The algorithm sorts comments out, but uh, I don't... If, if anybody feels like they're being ignored, I promise you, unless you're posting some crazy, uh, vulgar stuff, I'm not going to intentionally ignore you. Uh, having said that, I've asked for a chassis system for, like, the last week, and I never read it. Not once. Okay, Shane... No, <laughs> I don't ignore comments. Uh, if I ever move to Canada, I'll find your location. I won't really. Um, interesting comment. What's your favorite train in your opinion? Favorite train. My favorite model train is probably the Hiawatha. It just has so many different aspects, which I like about it. Hey, SMT, would you be able to run the Varney locomotive? Yeah, we can run that one later. Uh, hello everyone. Yes. 
I'm customizing my Atherin Blue Box. Uh, my favorite steam locomotive is 2816 or maybe 2141. Uh, would you consider doing a massive lash of Plymouth switchers? Uh, possibly. When your steam locomotive looks like a little piece of track. Railroad. It's Dominic Roach. Dominic Roach? Uh, Commanding Officer Quahada says, Shane's trains with the amount of requests SMT gets to run train oscillation. Be upset that he doesn't. Yeah, again, guys, I don't ever try to, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I find a lot of, there's sometimes people go and they, uh, they say, oh, SMT, uh, you, you, why, why are you ignoring me and stuff like that? And it's, I don't, I don't know what the kind of idea is. Like, I just, like, one day decide, oh, I don't like this guy. I'm not going to read his comments. Like, I, I, I just don't do that again. If people are posting bad stuff, I'm not going to go read that. But I, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't just target somebody one day and decide not to read their comments. There are sorting algorithms. That's the, uh, that's the bottom, that's the bottom line, I would say. Now, uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, run some locomotives here. I'm pretty sure somebody requested... A Kool-Aid locomotive? I don't know where I put that one recently, though. I must have moved it, because usually I keep it right here beside the TELUS one. For a while I had it here, but today I was restocking the shelf. And, uh, I moved it somewhere. It's probably right in front of me and I just can't see it. I don't know. Who makes the LRC? It's a Rapido product. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't see that one. So, I guess I'll run the Seaboard system, which I believe was also a request. There's the uh, Kool-Aid engine. Okay, we'll run that one next. Uh, Liam, oh, happy birthday. Um, can you run the GP38-2? I don't know which engine that is in particular. Can you run the police train? We've already run that one. Uh, he doesn't have a... No, I don't think I have any Canadian Pacific Jeevos. Uh, hey, SMT, could you run the distinctive Dodge Ram? Oh, man. I don't know why that derailed. Uh, yes, Seaboard. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to run the Seaboard one. We'll get, we'll get some other stuff going as well. Right, why don't we try to run them both? I don't know. Shane's Trains, uh... I'm sorry, I don't think you ignore YouTube just makes it seem like a stupid algorithm. It's crazy how it cuts me out of the chat like that. Yeah, it's okay, Shane. I just, uh... I'm not a big fan of people accusing me when I'm... It might not be my fault, even. Uh, do you have an HO scale Union Pacific Big Boy? I've been on the market for one for months now. I haven't been able to find one at a good price. They go by too fast. That's just it. The comments are flying by, and I'm reading every single comment on a screen, which is, you know, you know, like two and a half inches wide. So, you know, a few are going to slip by because of me, but also, you know, there's, uh, there's preferencing, not my preferencing. There's just, uh, algorithm preferencing where it for some reason picks out some comments i have it set to live chat should i guess be unbiased but uh i don't know I, I i do notice that some people are don't appear as much as of others if you ever make a dukes of hazard locomotive use the charger locomotive well i see how the name is fitting but uh, i i still think an sd40-2 is most fitting to build the uh, dukes of hazard uh, generally locomotive Miniature Wonderland is one of the biggest HO layouts in the world. It's almost the size of a small... I, I assume it's meant to say city. Uh, it's not just trains, it's everything. I've seen videos of Wonderland. It's stuff or Wonderland, as they call it in Germany. Um, I, it's, it's somewhere I want to visit at some point in my life. It looks really interesting. I thought it was pretty cool, too. I, I don't know how many people... I, I don't even know if you can find this online... But in uh, 2009, uh, James May, uh, one of the uh, people, one of the three guys on Top Gear, uh, raced the two uh, guys who run Wonderland, and they did a uh, race, uh, the Brits against the Germans, uh, across the, uh, I think it's called the Tarka Trail, which used to be a big railway that was taken out by Dr. Beeching, or whatever his name is. But, uh, 
yeah, it's, uh, that, that, for Model Railroader, that was such a cool video, I, honestly, uh, yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty, pretty interesting. Hey, SMT, I just finished fixing up my 736, uh, Lionel, since securing the pin came loose, causing the motor windings to short out on the metal motor body or housing. Now it's ready to run with the passenger train. Oh, good for you. Uh, SMT, do you collect 35 vintage color Kodachrome slides of fallen flag railroads? Um, I can't, I can't say I do. I, uh, I don't even know what a lot of those, uh, I assume in terms of the material or whatever for film you were, uh, even talking about. I'm no expert on that type of stuff. Uh, SMT, how will you continue your train passion if, when you attend college? I have no idea. No idea. I gotta say, you're definitely my most favorite YouTuber of all time. Could I sh get it? Uh, thanks for the compliment, awesome gamer. Uh, again, there are certain shout out rules. Uh, the Great Train Race one and two are on YouTube. Really? I uh, maybe they're blocked in Canada, but I tried searching it up a few months ago and I couldn't find them. Uh, you can watch it on Amazon Prime. It's called James May's Toys, I think. Um, yeah, cause. Oh, you can find clips of it, 2009. Okay, yeah, you know, sorry, I made a mistake there. In 2009, they tried to rebuild the Tarka Trail Railway in HO scale, and it failed really badly. And that was part of James May's Toy Story. And then it was in 2011 that they did the race against the Germans. Okay, my bad. Um, guess YouTube doesn't want SMT seeing my comments. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how it works. I'm. Uh, I'm not an executive at YouTube. I don't. I don't call the shots. <laughs> Can you do a GoPro on the main layout? Yeah, I think I might make a video uh, about that at some point. I'm gonna need to write down a list of ideas. Uh, see, you board was fallen flag as well. Can you run the N scale? Yeah, we can run the N scale. I think I have it plugged in, so that shouldn't be too. Uh, too difficult. Why don't we run our dear old chassis system locomotive? Yeah, a little something for the uh, in scalers out there. There we are. Oh yeah, I'm pretty. I got the O scale layout working again. We'll see if it works. Probably won't work because uh, we're doing a live stream. Things never work when I do live streams. But uh, yeah, it's first time for a long time I've had this going. But, uh, yeah, I have been, I have been making efforts, and I'm not sure if uh, you guys can tell, but a few days ago, this side of the basement was trash, so I've actually been trying to clean it up a little bit. Uh, you're one of my favorite YouTubers because you post videos every couple days instead of every two weeks. I try to upload content uh, quite often. I just like running it like that. Use NordVPN. I'm not sponsored by anyone. <laughs> Uh, I use an old Boston Maine jacket. Can I see your work on the Hershey factory? Uh, I'll send you a couple of messages after the stream, because, uh, the whole operation, uh, of building the offices, I've been just doing that in my room where I have better lighting, so I'd have to go up there to get all of it, and it'd be sort of complicated, but, uh, I'd be interested to see what, uh, what you think of it. Uh, what's your favorite template train? Old Mark stuff, I guess. I don't know. I did <laughs> saw my old uh, tin stuff. I, I I love this stuff. It's so classic. To get uh, more of that working. SMT run the Shark Nose Canadiana. Hey, SMT, what would you recommend to do to an engine that has a motor that constantly overheats? Um, I mean, the first thing to do is just basic maintenance on it. You know, make sure it's clean, make sure it's lubricated, because if there's bits of hair and things like that in the gearbox, that's going to put strain on the motor that could be causing it to get hot. Uh, the other thing is on some locomotives, you can replace the magnets with neodymium magnets, because neodymium magnets, uh, basically, uh, they take a lot of strain off the motor. They use a lot less energy. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, if a motor is getting really, really hot, it could just mean uh, one of the coils is shorted. And uh, 
other than rewinding, you can't really do much about that. SMT, I don't think Dan likes the box he used as the Tyco. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm sure this might be met with some controversy. I don't I don't I posted this on Instagram the other day, but uh, frankly these boxes were sitting under my layout collecting dust, so I figure I may as well do something creative with them. Well, I'm honestly impressed. The uh, O scale layout seems to be uh, behaving. Does the display locomotive run on the one immediately next to your streetcar? Yes, it does. Not very well, but it does. And I'll show it to you actually. This, uh, this, this is my dad's, uh, baby. I think it was his first steam locomotive, actually, so, uh, I'll have to be kind of careful with this one. Change the direction here. It's got a three, yeah. It's got a really low voltage motor in it, so it's a little bit kind of snappy there. The end scale stopped. Yeah, I know. I don't know what was going on with that. Eh, this one kicked out. O scale. Yeah, I know. First time in all a while we've been running stuff on the O scale. Uh, yes, Chessy Serenity. Yeah, we could run. Okay, we'll we'll get we'll get some Chessy piece uh, on the layout. Maybe we'll run that old. Chessy Tyco locomotive if it will start. I don't know. Yeah, let's run this one. It's uh, it's pretty sturdy. And the lifelike one. Yeah, I'll run one from each brand. Although, I'll uh, give Bachman credit. I think they did a lot better of a job uh, on the detail side. Making the uh, Chessy system locomotive. I mean, this, this, this looks way better than that, but... Yeah, that one's got the uh, better drive system in it. I think you could do a big lash up of F units. It would be tricky to coordinate the speeds and whatnot, if I'm honest. I got trouble getting the wheels on. So there's the uh, Bachman one. Three pole motor, it's uh, turning over pretty quickly. And we'll try to get, I'm not sure how well the lifelike one is gonna run with it. I don't know, we could put it on a separate piece of track. I don't even know what direction it's gonna go. Uh, that was weird. Oh boy. This has been my most reliable Bachman engine with a pancake motor. I don't want it to bite the dust. Oh, boy. Keeps just kicking out. That's not good. You can even see it's getting power. Hopefully that's just a problem with the brushes. It's smoking? Yeah, smells fine. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one off the here. I'm gonna put it in the uh, attention uh, booth, actually. It's funny, I don't remember that one having any problems, but you never know. Do you have a Norfolk Southern engine last time? I was asking. Eep. Yeah. I've got a uh, Norfolk Southern. SD 40-2. Well, here's the lifelike counterpart. It seems to be uh, running fine. We started using the plastic track connectors for dead rails. Uh, Dom can leave all of his locos on the track. Is that okay? Yeah, I, I don't I don't see anything wrong with that. Have you seen Gopin Upper's video on the Marks Hudson? Um, no, I haven't. I'm uh, I, I like Gopin Upper's uh, channel though. Gopin Upper was one of the, I think he was the third subscriber on this channel way back in uh, 2017. So uh, yeah, quite a fan of his.
The SMT, can you run the bullet nose? Yeah, sure, zippy little thing. Oh yeah, this is only at half power. This has a five pull motor too, so the fact it can really book it is pretty uh, impressive. Uh, SMT, my appeal to model railroading is being able to combine my art with my love California Railroad. What's your appeal for model railroading? Um, I like model railroading for a variety of reasons. I mean, uh, first of all, you can be pretty creative, which is something I quite like about it. Um, but the other two things is I just like trains, so it's sort of a, you know, combines creativity with trains. And uh, also, I like the mechanical aspect of it. I obviously, like, I really enjoy repairing stuff. I just find uh, find it really fun. Uh, great question, uh, I have to say. Now, um, yeah, see, people keep requesting stuff, and it keeps slipping my mind because I get distracted. Pretty bad. SMT, do a barrel roll. <laughs> I would. I don't think everybody else uh, is interested in uh, me doing a, uh, a barrel roll, though. Camera, oh... Can you do an F unit NASCAR race? Okay, you know, fair. Seems everybody seems to want to see a lot of F units on the track, so we'll uh, we'll get some cheap F units out there and uh, we'll let them charge around. So what would be some good stuff to get out there? Just I'm trying to decide here. Could just put a whole bunch of lifelike F units out there. That seems like a good idea. Okay, lifelike F unit. Because at least they'll be similar speeds. So, yeah. About to run life like. Uh, Nick's Rail Vids. Hey, SMT, how are you? I was the person with the Union Pacific diesel locomotive. Oh, cool. Uh, Dom wants to see the daylight if you get it. He's eating a huge fan. Um, I can run the daylight diesel locomotive, uh for him with a few cars. You all need to be Norfolk Southern Engine. If people are requesting the Norfolk Southern Engine uh, Commanding Officer Quijada, they don't have to be very specific because I only have one. Oh, I think this engine has some sort of problem though. Yeah, I remember something about that. Okay, it does run. Let's see, does it go both directions though? Something odd about that locomotive, it always starts slow. Well, I guess it runs. So let's put on another one. Can you run the Hiawatha? I can run the Fox Valley one. Despite the blank, how many locomotives have you got this year? Um, I haven't personally bought a tremendous amount of locomotives, but I've had a lot of people sending me locomotives as gifts, probably to the tune of about 25 locos. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, because I think I tried to do this before. I'm now remembering what the problem was, which is that... They don't go the same way. I think this one needs to be uh, fixed as well. In another repair booth it goes. I should do a live stream one day. I could be running every single locomotive in my collection, and then I can go through and I can find out what has problems, and I can fill my repair booth with all of the uh, trains that need uh, TLC. That's a good idea. Uh... Do you know the Fox Valley locomotives get built in a valley called Fox Valley? Is that a joke or is that actually true? All right, let's try getting that. Uh, I'll get the daylight diesel going. Um, let me see. I don't even know where I put the locomotives. I have been, uh, I really have been trying to clean up the layout. So that's the dummy engine. And then that's the B unit right there. So where's the rest of the uh, 
Where's the rest? Can you run the streetcar, please? Yeah. That would take an hour to run all your trains. Well, that's not a problem. I mean, uh, as we speak, uh, this stream actually just uh, hit an hour, so... Uh, yeah, doing, doing a long live stream, uh, really, timing-wise, is no problem to me. If I wanted to make an hour-long video, that things might get more complicated because uh, memory and etc etc but uh, live stream running all my trains i don't know i just need to find a day where i have a ton of time on my hands no other obligations oh let me see if i can fix this one-handed um no other obligations and then i can uh run all the trains in my uh collection and then figure it because i don't honestly know what uh what runs and what doesn't run entirely i only have a rough idea okay well i'm gonna put that car off to the side because it uh i'm gonna put it on here on my bench so i don't forget to repair that coupler it just popped right out can you run that varney locomotive soon you know what i did promise that one earlier so i'll uh i'll run it right now doesn't have a coupler i would run the daylight with it i am gonna run the daylight though this thing weighs a ton my god especially with the, t the tender itself too is also uh die cast so together these uh make a pretty heavy duo i wouldn't run it over any weak bridges Uh, Ryan Lupo, I, no, I don't have any uh, Union Pacific big boys, unfortunately. Well, let's let these uh, two little lifelike rascals run back around the uh, layout. What's your all-time favorite locomotive? Are you Team Steam or Team Diesel? I'm not on either team. Uh, they're both good in their own ways. Um... I think it would be the Hiawatha, though. I don't know. I have to have some answer for that. The Daylight Diesel is in the booth. <laughs> Thanks for that, Ethan. Uh, you're, uh, you're quite right about that. Sometimes, uh, well, almost all the time, the locomotives are uh, right in front of me. But I'm trying to fix that. How about Team Electric? Yeah, electric locos are cool too, although electric engines are not very common. I mean, I guess you could argue, argue diesel engines are electric because they're diesel electric, but uh, their fuel source is originally diesel. Uh, SPCK Kalamu, can you run a DCC F unit, B unit with small freight car consist? Yes, yeah, I can probably do that. First, we're going to run the daylight, though. All right, I just remembered something, though. That's got a knuckle coupler. Okay, uh, we're going to run the world's shortest daylight consist. How's about that? Uh, electric locomotives are common everywhere but North America. Yeah, the Europeans love them. But I, I, I think that probably has something to do with size because, of course, uh, countries in Europe are uh, not as big as America or Canada, so since you've got a smaller country, it means your railways are not as long, and as a result, building, uh, electrifying them is probably not as complicated. I, I can't imagine trying to electrify uh, all of North America's railroads would be uh, very easy. The only major electrified railroad I can think of is the Northeast Corridor, but uh, I think that's about it. I don't even think uh, Canada has any major uh, electrified railroads. I mean, we've got light rail, but uh, that's it. You're on your Bachman speeder. Electrification is too expensive. Yeah, and that's that again. That's why I think that uh, it must be why it's more common in Europe because they just simply don't have as much 
area to cover. Wow, this is not very fast. <laughs> uh, BC Rail has battery powered locos, I think. Really? I, I've never heard of that. Uh oh. Well, now is where I need to act faster, or else that speeder is going to be. <laughs> oh, that was close. Um. Oh, headshot mango man. I uh, had a rough day at work at my grocery store. Some lady got up in my face about having to wear gloves and use a cart order for us too. How many people are in the store? I'm uh, really sorry to hear that. Uh, headshot the mango man. Uh, I. Uh, I. Big big kudos to you though for uh, being able to. Uh, work in a grocery store. I have a few friends who are working at a, uh, at grocery stores as well, because obviously you're quite vital at this time. The speeder looks like a matchbox. <laughs> Just a little putt putt. Go Transit is partially electrifying the Kitchener line. Really? Um... SMT, when are you ready to run the Varney? I can, uh, I'm gonna run it right after, uh, I'll let this make one more lap around the layout, then we'll run the Varney. Um, I can't run it with, I wish I could run it with freight, freight cars, but the tender doesn't have any, uh, doesn't have any other parts to it. Doesn't have a coupler. Charles Dorr, welcome to live stream. World's smallest daylight train. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, hey, Harrison, are you thinking of expanding the main layout at all? It looks like you have a lot of free space in your basement. Um, no, it's only expanding as far as the Hershey plant. That's about it. Uh, SEPA commuter trains in Philadelphia are electric. All right, so I guess it's a little bit more than the uh, northeast corridor. Although those are all commuter trains, so once again, it's uh, it's not a, uh, it's not as much of an issue of, you know, distance because commuter like Ottawa has a electrified railway system, but it's uh, it's only it's only local trains. Uh, there's a tender on EB for that Varney locomotive. I'm, yeah, I don't know if this is true or not, but I th I feel like this might be the original tender. Although I could be wrong. I don't know. It, I find that I find this locomotive looks fine with this tender. I'm I'm happy with it. Didn't take uh, much to attach them to. Pretty pretty simple. I did just modify. I had to put a screw into this to uh, connect the wire, and I also had to um. Dremel out the uh, crossbar for it to fit a little bit, but uh, nothing nothing too uh, radical. Here's the Varney train. How big is the train room? Well, I mean, it's a basement, so we've got some we've got some space. Uh, it's cool. I've been watching and listening to you. I've been watching your content for over a year. Still can't wait to have more locos to run on my layout. Oh, thank you. Where did you get your HO scale buildings? Did you put them together yourself? Uh, a lot of them just came from my uh, local hobby shop. Uh, a lot of which as gifts on Isaiah. Yeah, like I haven't bought too many buildings uh, in recent years. A lot of these are from the early 2010s and 2000s. So uh, yeah, it's all uh, it's all it's all pretty old stuff. But it's all just from my hobby shop. Some of them were uh, some of them I did get as kits though. Uh, a lot of them were built by uh, me and my dad actually. Maybe Tech, did you get a package from me? Um, I got a parcel from Salt Lake City. It's that box right there, actually. But uh, other than that, and another parcel, which I know who it came from, uh, I haven't yet. I'm going to, uh, I think, yeah, I'm not going to open those, uh, all of this stuff until next, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait till next Friday, and then I'm gonna see because a lot of people have said that they've been sending me stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go check my post office box and 
maybe some more stuff has rolled in i don't know and then i can uh do a more thorough unboxing bc rail or canadian pacific rail i guess canadian pacific although i really like uh, bc rails paint scheme uh have you been on an abandoned railway well yeah yeah i mean i run my speeder on an abandoned railway i wouldn't i wouldn't I wouldn't dare run my speeder on an active railway. My God, that that's asking for trouble on so many accounts. <laughs> but uh, but yeah yeah. Fully abandoned railway. Can't a okay, railway you couldn't physically run a train on at this point, so I think it's pretty safe. Not that I suggest anybody do it. Can you run some stuff on the other HO layout? I really would like to, but I, the power pack I had hooked up there, I brought it over to do work on my Locos, and one of the, I don't know, jumper clips or whatever you want to call it, it just popped right off, so I'm going to have to fix that. I'm pretty sure somebody asked for me to run this earlier. Can you show the speeder? Yeah. I don't see why not. It's not a, it's not a real, it's not like a, traditional railway speeder it's just something i uh jerry rigged up myself uh, a couple of years ago it's also uh, a little bit yeah if, uh, if you can believe it this is my uh, speeder right here uh, it rolls it's got it's, yeah it's kind of it's kind of a mess right now but there's its uh little four stroke engine and whatnot it's fun. Do you like Conrail paint better than NS? Um, I mean they're both pretty nice paint schemes, but yeah, I, I think uh, I think I like Conrails a bit more. Speaking of Norfolk Southern, this was another one that a lot of people have wanted me to run. He has a basement in a basement. Yes, yes, it's, a, it's the basement addition to the basement. Does your L and N diesel work? Um, I haven't tried to run it in a while, but uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't run that well. Let's see if my old uh, Hannah goes. This uh, this thing quite tragically fell off a shelf. Uh, couple months ago although it hasn't stopped it from running these Mahano engines they've got to be the toughest steam engines out there I really hope my uh, Mahano train set I ordered uh, actually does turn up that would be uh, that'd be a real treat and uh, the seller of that train set though you know, I've said before, the only reason I bought it from this seller was because they used PayPal, but it's it, it's really weird because I ordered the train set from them. And uh, this, is the, this is the strange thing. I ordered the train set. They charged me $90 for it, so I'm like, okay, that's cool. I agreed to pay that. And then um, I checked my bank account the other day. They had refunded me the $90 and then then took 70 out of my bank account. So I, like, I don't know if they overcharged me and decided to pay it back. I mean, if you're running a scam, I don't know why you would refund money and then take less, but um, I thought that that was a little bit odd. But it is possible they just overcharged me for it. I heard there's a train show at the Philly Expo Center in Oak sometime in August. I hope they'll be able to have it. What are the dimensions for the large layout? They are, it's a 4 by 8 Who keeps laughing in the background? Well, I don't know. If, if, if I've laughed at a couple of the comments, but there's nobody uh, chuckling away. Uh, hey, SMT, I have some German locomotives I can't get to run, and I'm not sure what's wrong with them. Would you like me to ship them to you? Um, if you want to send me an email about that, I'd be interested to see, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know what kind of locomotives you're talking about, but one theory that comes to mind is, uh, for some reason, uh, AC locomotives are more common in, uh, in Europe, so it, maybe they're AC.
The Varney is a ghost engine resurrected from the scrapyards. I like that. <laughs> It really, that's, that's part of the reason I like it, though. It's just so kind of, like, strange. I mean, I guess I wouldn't like it if my entire collection was comprised of that type of stuff, but I really do like, like, this, I don't know, shady old, like, equipment. I want to go, uh... If and when the uh, Larkspur Line train store ever opens up again, I want to open up that box again and see if there's any more locomotives I can uh, resurrect. I think I got all the good ones out of there, but... I don't know. Maybe I should just offer uh, the guy who runs the shop 40 bucks and take the whole box and I can go through it and have all these cool new parts. They probably did overcharge you and then realized their mistake... I'm I'm hoping that that's that's the case. Uh, again, it would be a bit of an odd scam, but I'm not sure if maybe scammers do something like that to make it harder for PayPal to track what they charged. But uh, if that was the case, I don't know why they would wouldn't charge the same amount. Like it's weird that they would charge a lower amount. The whole thing is kind of odd, but uh, it seems like a legitimate website. But yeah, I don't know. I really hope it's a legitimate website because if it is a legitimate website, they're selling the train stuff really cheap. It's not, like, too good to be true cheap, but it's very cheap. So it's kind of, like, could be too good to be true, but also could not be. I don't know. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it is true, obviously. Because if it is, then not only can I uh, promote the train set, which uh, I suspect is going to be quite good because I already kind of have a bit of bias towards Mahano, I'm going to be honest, just because I've had really good experience with all of their stuff. But uh, that website also ships worldwide, so it might be the only place where you can buy uh, these foreign train sets, but I'm not going to make that call until uh, um, if, if I actually have... Unless I have the train set in hand and uh, there was no weird underhanded charges or something like that, because you never know. Funkin' Local, am I late? Um... Well, as I say, you're never late to the SMT channel because I don't really plan these live streams. Benjamin Vang, welcome. Run the Acela with the daylight coaches. The Acela doesn't have uh, conventional couplers. It's got some weird high-speed uh, couplers. Will you paint the Varney Loco? Um, uh, a lot of people have suggested that I should. But, uh, I don't know, I kind of like it having that sort of rustic, like, uh, rough look to it. I feel like it gives it some character. Even the tender, like, I know it doesn't look good like that, but I don't know, I, I, I like it. I do want to get a front for it, though, that's something that is a, a big project. Varney Zombie Loco. Oh, I'd have so much fun if I could get a decoder working in that thing, uh, running, around, running it around my club layout. Because they're all running, like, the, you know, newest of new stuff. And, and, and for, for them just to have this, like, you know, it really is a fossil of a locomotive just running around the layout. I think it would really, uh, I don't know, get some funny reactions. Especially at a train show. I'd love to run it at a train show. People, you know, they just see all these typical trains. You know, typical, you know you, the usual stuff you'd expect to see on a club layout at a train show. And then there's just this, like, ancient locomotive looks like it's been resurrected from the dead and it's <laughs> just like creeping around the layout oh it would be oh, that would be so that would be so much fun i'd i'd like that uh did you get the newer mahano freight set from that site yes i did that's exactly what i ordered i ordered the uh mahano uh, i think it's called the freight wrecker set it was uh yeah i think it cost me something like 50 canadian dollars and then they charged me another thirty dollars to ship it so all in all i'm looking at well i think that'd be about an eighty dollar buy but that's still a lot cheaper than what bachman's selling these train sets for and also i felt sort of dumb because i discovered this website will give you free shipping if you buy over a certain amount even though they're shipping it to canada which is something i'm surprised about so uh theoretically what i could do because i if if i'm I ordered the cheapest train set because I want to take the most minimal risk if it all goes wrong. But this website had many other uh, train sets on it, all from Mahano, uh, all high-speed train sets, much cheaper than they are on Amazon. So uh, 
yeah, if the first train set does arrive and it's all legit, then I'm probably going to place an order for a whole bunch more uh, equipment from this website. I found out that a scam train store is being advertised on YouTube. That's really disappointing. Well, and it's, you know, it's the same reason, too. Like, I want to buy the, I'm, you know, I'm buying the train set from this website, but I'm also, like, I didn't, I didn't just want to, like, try to find it on Amazon or something, because all the, all the sets that are being sold on Amazon are way overpriced. But if uh, the website turns out to be legitimate, I can actually, you know, it's a train set, which I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful for. And also, uh, if this website turns out to be good, then uh, it's a cheap place for people to buy one. Uh, sketch, I think it might have been something to do with exchange rates. No, they had already done the, ex they had already done the conversion to Canadian dollars. But, um, I don't, I don't know if, um, maybe they pre-include some sort of tax or something like that. SMTA, I wish to ask what website is until you know it's legit. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I'm, I'm not in any way recommending this website because I haven't received the train set yet. I, they, they also haven't told me how long it's going to take to get here, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm waiting out hope. But uh, the website's called, uh, I think it's called BTSWR... OLD or something like that. I don't know. Again, it's an Italian website, so I don't know if maybe uh, there's just a bit of culture stuff going on there. Like maybe the website looks a bit different because it's uh, from a different country. But um, yep, yeah, only time will tell. Your club will shun you. <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I don't want to get shunned from the club because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of members of the club who I actually like, and uh, I think it is a genuinely good club. But having said that, there are some other uh, people there, model railroading elitists, who frankly don't really like me, and uh, there's uh, some other clubs which have uh, made offers to take me in, and they're not, they're not going to uh, bombard me with uh, their regulations about building Hershey factories, so uh, I don't know. That, that's more appealing. I'm not a big fan of... Uh, uh, one in 87th scale bureaucracy. <laughs> Club politics. What is this? Painting the Varney would be like painting a brass engine criminal. That's kind of how I feel about it. I feel like I, uh, in some ways would be defacing like a piece of history. And, 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 and plus I just think it looks, it looks cool. What is the rail? What railway is the Mahano train set you're buying? Uh, I think it's either a Burlington Northern locomotive or a um, Union Pacific locomotive. It should be very similar to the set Sam's Trains bought, but it's gonna. If they send me the right set, then it should be the one. It it comes with a uh, a crane, so and it's Canadian National crane. It looks like a really interesting train set. I, I really I really hope it turns up because I'd love to review it. There are only uh, some things I've thought about though, which might be a bit of a problem because uh, first of all, this is a foreign train set. It's made in Yugoslav Yugoslavia. Um, so I'm not sure. I I I'm I'm pretty. Uh, my guess is going to be that the controller is going to be. Uh, it's going to come with a adapter for a European plug, in which case I would need to figure out some sort of a way to uh, get the controller to work with North American plugs. And the other problem I realized is that uh, since it's a European train set, it's got European couplers on it. So, uh, but I'm, I'm I could be wrong about this, but I'm going to guess it's you could probably swap them out for Bachmann. So those are two uh, problems that I've. Uh, factored in so but we're gonna have to see again uh when or if i get the train set in hand is the only time i can actually figure out whatever uh how how this whole thing works and if it's something viable for beginners what's the river made out of that connects the tables uh it's the it's the bottom of its styrofoam the newspaper on top of the newspaper uh screen and then on top of screen it's paper uh, or not paper mache but uh, drywall
Uh, always seems to be something new on the streams. <laughs> yeah, uh, try to make sure they're not too repetitive. Can a 13-year-old join a train club? It really depends on the club's regulations. There are some uh, train clubs that... Um, most train clubs I know do have age restrictions because they don't want, like, really, really little kids. But uh, a lot of them that I've heard of, they have, like, an age restriction of, like, uh, you know, like, 10 or something like that. I'm pretty sure my model railway club has an age restriction of 13. I could be mistaken on that. But if you are 13, uh, I'd, uh, there, there are some clubs that say you have to be 18, but most of them uh, I don't think are going to refuse uh, refuse you if you're 13. How's the weather outside? This morning I woke up and... Uh, Everything was snow covered. We received snow in the night and it was still snowing. Okay, time to start a zombie train club. Run what you got. Oh yeah, we'll rent out the cheapest abandoned store in uh, Cartier Center in Gatineau and we'll start up a terrible train club. It will be great. My layout is at my grandparents place. I can't remember my new CN SD70 AC. Oh, that's too bad. Zachary Newhouse, welcome back. I see you changed your name. Run full routes rather than going in circles. The problem is most uh, alternative routes uh, have something in the way because I uh, don't have a lot of places to put all my rolling stock. Hey, SMG, I'm enjoying currently painting my G-Scale Garden Railroad track to look weathered. Nice. Run the via P42 with the go-cars. We can try to do that. I'm pretty doubtful it's going to work, though. I'm not trying to be a cynic or anything. The last time I tried to run the via locomotive, it wasn't, it wasn't going so well. Would you be interested in an HO scale pen mogul steam locomotive? If so, I could send it to you. Uh, if you could send me an email about that, that'd be great. Um, you can see my email in the about section of my channel is my... Uh, Email and yeah, it sounds uh, that sounds interesting. Yugoslavia broke up. Y yeah, Yugoslavia has been eliminated, but I'm pretty sure Yugoslavia became Slov Slovakia, Slovenia. I don't, I don't know. Wherever Mahano is based out of. I also don't understand uh, really Mahano because the other day I went on their website. I thought, oh, they. Uh, I thought, oh, yeah, like, Mahana went defunct in the 2000s, and, and then that's why they aren't making the train sets anymore. But then Sam's Trains made a video, and he said, oh, I was happy to see Mahano's still around. So I searched it up. They've got a website, but all the train sets are out of stock. So I'm like, okay, they're going out of business. This is just, like, uh, what's left. And then the other day, I logged on to their websites, and the train sets are back in stock again. So I, I think they're still making them. And uh, I went on Wikipedia. It says... Um, I think Mahano filed for bankruptcy in 2008, but they're still around to this day making train sets. So I have no idea if this is a new Mahano or if it's the name being run by a different company. I, I, real, I have no idea what, what the situation is there. Hunter D, they will absolutely not shun you over the Varney. You will be the life of the party unless you painted some wild colors. Paint it normally. Um, again, I don't really plan on painting it. Even if I did paint it, I would just paint it black. I wouldn't do anything too uh, psychotic. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. The club, uh, they've, they've got a lot of really quirky. Re First of all, so many club members keep telling me there, they've, they're like, they're, yo, there's tons of regulations. There's tons of regulations. And I've gone online and it's so many pages. I'm like, I don't even want to crack that open. I don't, yeah, it, uh, I'm really, like, ultimately, I want to make the Hershey factory part of the club layout, but uh, I'm not going to... Uh, like, even building the Hershey factory, uh, originally I was supposed to build that as a club layout, and I just decided to go ahead with the project because I didn't feel like having to go through the process of getting it approved and stuff like that because uh, my friends who are part of the club, you know, they know the regulations a lot better than me, and uh, they claim that uh, they're really strict about making layout. 
I'm uh, sorry about disappearing, everybody. Uh, my phone a long time ago uh, did alert me that I was running on 10% battery, but it was so long ago that I completely forgot, and, uh, well, that's, uh, that's what happened to that. So I'm back. Hopefully everybody can see the video fine. Everybody's typing that's in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay, we've already got 60 people back, that's, uh, that's good. We had about 130, I hope, uh, I hope those people come back. 58, now we're back down. Ah, good job, yeah, <laughs> thanks, uh, headshot. Ambulance man. Well, on the bright side, I'm now seeing absolutely everybody's comments. Speedster, stop spanning. F makes it go full screen. <laughs> I'm at 8% got to plug in. Yeah, well, I wish I had uh, done the same thing, David. <laughs> What happened? Well, like a half hour ago, and my phone said, oh, 10% battery and low power. And then uh, I forgot about it, so I continued doing the live stream, and then I was just picking something up off the shelf, and I saw my phone uh, screen go black, and I was like, oh. The power of Christ compelled it. Yeah, some something like that. So what were you on about regulations? Yes, so uh, as I was saying, I was... Um, yeah, the, the club was going to uh, basically, uh, I would need to get a variance because my Hershey factory, the m maximum width of a club layout is two feet, and the Hershey factory required just a little bit over four, even though it was being compressed. And uh, yeah, they weren't, they weren't going to allo allow it without a variation. So I was kind of like, yeah, it seems... Uh, you know, this all just seems really silly. So I decided to go ahead, and I'm going to try to get it approved as part of the club layout because, you know, it would be really cool to take it to train shows and things like that. But, uh, yeah. Painting the Varney would be like spray painting a Lamborghini. Yes, it would. <laughs> great, uh, great way to put that. Hey, SMT, did you see my comment about the Kato N-Scale P42 not lighting up when I turn it on? I, I'm sorry, Speedster, I, uh, I, I have not seen that one. Uh, seriously, I click Shift F and it went full screen. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, uh, there, David. Um, might be blue, white, least GP unit demonstrator loco. I, I'm not sure. The old Varney, I believe, is a Reading uh, Railroad I-10. If that helps you find any parts, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to have a look. I don't know if they sell parts, but uh, apparently this is not a very common locomotive. So my best hope for finding a front would either just be to do a generic search for like a Reading I-10 locomotive. It doesn't have to be from Varney, but at least a diecast one, or uh, maybe make one myself. I don't really know. You can't pay for his train ticket. <laughs> Who can't pay for their train ticket? I feel like there's this 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 joke makes sense tied into somewhere. Sometimes we just don't look at the battery power. Well, and on my phone, it doesn't even show me while I'm streaming what my battery's at. I, I get the notifications when I reach 10%, but I was just like, oh, you know, I'll just stream for a little longer and then I'll plug it in. And then, uh, you know, 30 minutes later, nothing. Paint the Varney like a Canadiana locomotive. Um, I and everybody around me, I think, would be personally offended by that. <laughs> the MT next April Fool's prank, prank lubricate a locomotive with pizza grease. Oh, the amount of April Fool's ideas. It's, 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 I, I, I'm hoping I don't do another 2019 uh, April Fool's. That was a bit of a disaster. Uh, I think I found your train set. It has a CN Crane Wrecker Alco Century 268. I, I thought it was a, a Alco Century uh, 6 
six eight two or something. I can't remember the number. I, I'm pretty sure it was a six something. It started with a six. But yeah. Have you ever watched Bayroll System videos? I have seen that channel before. I haven't for a while, but I definitely that that name uh, is familiar. The stream is sponsored by SMT Mainline. <laughs> yeah, it's sponsored by itself. SMT, is it possible to make a headlamp for the Varney locomotive? Yeah, well, it's, the, the possibilities at this point are endless, pretty much. Hey, SMT, just tuned in. What do I miss? Uh, and I got a Walter's Cotton Bell Dash 8 yesterday. Um, well, we had the stream uh, crash a few minutes ago because uh, I wasn't paying attention to the battery amount, and it went dead. And then there was, uh, has there been a, I, I don't know, I don't, there have been a variety of different rants about, uh, model train club regulations, but, uh, oh, and the talk about, talk about ordering up a train set, that's, uh, that's been another, uh, point of discussion, but those are the main ones. No Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, luckily I don't, you know, people who are, are concerned, uh, people are concerned I'm going to get sponsored. I don't think I'm, I don't think NordVPN or Raid Shadow Legends would even want me as a sponsor, so it shouldn't be a problem. SMT, I made an intro scale loco with a Bachman truck and a motor with two gears. It's flipping tiny. Oh, good for you. Uh... Can you run your DCC F plus B units with a freight consist? Yeah. I did say I was going to try to run the VA unit, although I'm pretty confident that one's not going to start. So uh, we'll probably get around to uh, your request sooner rather than later. Isn't that nice? Uh, I'm one away from 100 subscribers. Well, everyone, go check out Inked Rails, who's, uh, I guess, at 99 uh, subscribers. Uh, at most, you would get Rapido as a sponsor. I uh, I doubt they would sponsor me, honestly. I don't know how I'd feel about a company. Like, I, I doubt a company would sponsor me. But let's say a company did offer to sponsor me. I'm not sure how I'd feel, because on one standpoint, I could get all this cool stuff and do all these reviews and stuff like that, and I'd have a lot more freedom to do things from the standpoint that maybe got a bigger operating budget. But at the same time, I feel like... Um, I don't know, it'd be harder. Like, I'm already on Rapido's side. I already like their stuff, so I'm arguably already biased. But uh, I don't know. I, I I feel like I'd probably have to sign some sort of a contract, and then, I don't know, maybe I couldn't do reviews for, like, Athern stuff, other companies that make things I like. So, yeah, I don't know if I was ever offered a sponsorship if I would take it or not. It would really, It would really depend on the conditions. If I could operate from a standpoint where all I have to do is open up boxes of their stuff and review it hell yeah sign me up but if it's uh but if it's i basically sign away my soul to the devil no thanks i'm not interested i rather just operate as a independent entity or whatever a lawyer would say uh bn brett welcome uh russian gin can i give you a shout out to a um shout out uh, unfortunately not Jack scrumptious model trains. Maybe Harrison will elaborate. What have I not? Al oh boy. I need to find that comment that David was replying to. I'm curious what I, uh, what people want uh, elaboration on. What about Honey or Nord VPN? You know what? If I was gonna take a corporate sponsorship, Honey or Nord VPN would be the one. I'd much rather do a sponsorship for Honey or Nord VPN, which I, as far as I know, are pretty uncontroversial companies, rather than. Uh, I don't know, something like Raid Shadow Legend or something like that. I feel like that would be way worse. I, I wouldn't feel too bad about about those two, especially if Amanda could, you know, do more interesting things for everyone. But, uh, but yeah, none, uh, not, not so interesting in the other ones. Watch the weird Italian website spawn. I don't think they would want to sponsor me either, although if they turn out to be a legitimate website, I'd be happy to uh, talk kindly about them. Because if it is a legitimate website, it's a pretty good one. So I can't find Jack Scrumptious Model Trains. Um, I couldn't find that comment, unfortunately, so I don't know what I'm supposed to elaborate. Uh, Jack... Um, yeah, I've got Shadow Palsy. 
Uh, careful, if you get sponsored, you'll have to get more serious with your modeling. No more running, no more running your trains at top speed. Yeah, I know those those types of types of things. I, I mean, I don't think too many sponsors would care about me running my trains like a Yahoo, but uh, I don't know. They might give me some some guidelines that I don't know how well I'd abide by. Lots of fun facts. I've been to two train shows where a guy has either had a heart attack or a stroke. Oh, that's terrible. Mobile games are ripoffs. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. If uh, Rage Shadow Legends ever tried to, sp again, this is this is very hypothetical. But if ever they, if ever they did, I don't, I don't think I'd feel very good trying to promote Rage Shadow Legends. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, they're all a big sham. Um, model train stuff might not sponsor you. Have you ever considered a yard for the layout? Well, I've got a small train yard, but I don't really have room to build a full-fledged yard, at least not without sacrificing anything. Mr. Meow, hey, SMT, remember the lice stream? Yes, I do remember the lice stream. For anyone who wasn't there, I uh, one day typed in a comment, and either I misspelled it, uh, not that I don't know how to spell live, but I either mistyped it or um, or it autocorrected because I misspelled it, and uh, it said I was doing a lice stream. So everybody joined in, and I was like, "Hey, SMT, nice live stream!" Ha 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 ha! Oh, the mockery didn't end for a while. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was funny though. You know, it was a good memory. He wants to know why your channel is called SMT Mainline. Oh, yes, okay. I think that's what why David was saying Scrumptious Small Trains. Um, so SMT stands for Scrumptious Model Trains, which is a bit of a bizarre name. But that um, ties into a whole variety of uh, things that have to do with uh, this channel's history. And then uh, Mainline was because I eventually abbreviated it to SMT, but I didn't want my channels to be called SMT. I, knew I wanted it to have some sort of a railway aspect, and Mainline sort of came to mind because, uh, you know, it's like it's Mainline's like active, busy. I don't know. I, I just felt it was a good, uh, a good addition. SMT is sponsored by Hershey. <laughs> I don't. I, I'd be. I'd, I'd be interested to see what Hershey corporate exec, executives would think about me building a model of their factory. I don't even know if it's legal to do that, honestly. Although, frankly, I don't know who's safeguarding plans for a factory that was built um, last renovated in the two thousands. I don't know. I, I. I. I doubt it's that bad. Okay, so that's new. This engine's never been able to run on DC power, and it just started on it. Is it possible to move ditch lights from one spot to another on an AC4400 locomotive? Uh, theoretically, yes, but it might be kind of complicated. Do you have any friends over? Uh, I haven't for a while, for obvious reasons. But, um, yeah, I've got my train buddies, the same ones who uh, all go to my model railway club. And, uh, you, know, about, about, you know, once every couple months, uh, we get together. Uh, more often than once every couple months, but um, but uh, once in a while when we get together, we do a live stream together, and uh, those are always uh, mixed. Some some people like them because they I don't know. I guess it's kind of funny having all these other uh, people. Frankly, I find them pretty funny too. They always have something good to say, like uh, Sherilyn saying uh, "shout out," everyone. Asking for shout outs, they get a shout to get out. So, uh, but yeah, other people, I think, I don't know, it's a bit too rowdy. It's hard to say. Um, David Z to G Skull, I think that Hershey would love to see your factory once it's completed. Oh, we'll see. I don't know. I'll send it, I'll send it around. I actually put a post on Reddit and I was able to, uh, talk to some people who actually renovated the Hershey factory into what it is today. So that was sort of interesting. Okay. Uh, Bryson Gent, we can't, uh, you can't just ask for shout outs. Imagine if you're sponsored by a railroad company. Oh, that would be cool. 
Although then, I don't know, it would probably be like, I have to only run that, like, company's trains or, I don't know, I, I can't have any, like, derailments on my railway because it would represent their company badly. I don't I feel like there would always be some sort of cobweb to get tangled up if I got a sponsor. <laughs> uh, does Canada have the FBI? We don't have the FBI. I think we have the Secret Service or something. I don't, I don't remember. We've got an equivalent department. That's the case with everything. Canada pretty much has all the same systems as the United States, but they're slightly different and they're under a different name we don't have states we have provinces you know it's like that they're pretty much the same thing but technically different let's go to a mall with robin sparkles who's robin sparkles headshot industries since the ccis yeah maybe I wonder what this locomotive's program to. Is it the deco is it the number 672? We got a six, a seven, and a two. Beep boop. Hey, it worked. Can you run the DD40X with a weird horn? We can try to run that one, yeah. Reddit, place of dirty people and singles. Oh, I mean, some people may talk, um, you know, they may frown upon Reddit, but I think other than it being so... I mean, Reddit's a, probably one of the most vicious websites. Like, you make a mistake on Reddit, people are going to throw rocks at you for the rest of the day. But um, they're probably the most... Uh, in comparison to the comment sections of most websites, I, I'd say it's generally more intelligent. People are a little bit quicker on their feet. That's the thing. So people are not very nice, but they're quick on their feet, so they're not dumb. Before I begin this video, I just want to thank Bachman for sponsoring this video. Yeah, I can tell you, if one company uh, would definitely not want to sponsor me, it would be Bachman. Listen, if Bachman changed their quality, they made their stuff way better, maybe lowered their price a bit, I'd be their greatest ally. But they have to do one or the other first. You should try to get Rapido. Yeah, I don't know. We're both Canadian. I don't know if that means something. Well, folks, today's video is sponsored by Rage Shadow Legends. Rage Shadow Legends is such a meme. I like, uh, I like Pyrocynical's, uh... Rage Shadow Legend ads, like, it's... it's <laughs> I, I find it shocking some of these mobile apps who hire these YouTubers and they make an ad which, you know, it's a it's it's an ad for the game, but they're clearly being, like, it's ironic humor. And, and these companies don't seem to realize that they're obviously being sarcastic. It, it, it almost makes it even more funny. Make Willy Wonka Factory. Great movie. I'm a Redditor myself. <laughs> It's it's a cool website. I, I like it. 2019, we're making memes about Dirty Dan stealing SMT's trains. 2020, making memes about SMT getting sponsored by Hershey. Yeah, and, and in 2018, uh, the big meme was... Uh, well, I don't know if it was a meme, but it was really uh, figuring out new and creative ways to uh, make fun of Starbucks. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Mew says, and I think this is in uh, relation to uh, my comments earlier about Canada having practically similar systems to the U.S. Canada, hey America, can I copy your homework? America, yeah, sure, just change it up a little bit so it's not too obvious. You copied? <laughs> Canada, sure thing. <laughs> yep, that's about it. Hey, Canada, Florida called. We don't want your Canadian Pacific 7023 anymore. SMT Mainline. Who's the CEO of SMT Mainline? Well, presumably myself. I don't know. Bachman. More like Brokeman. Oof. That's a, that's a swift kick. 
Hey SMT, what do you think of this? I just extended my layout and the original part is based on the 1950s new part of the city of the future. Flying cars and uh, custom futuristic buildings. That's a really cool layout. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody doing anything quite like that. So uh, yeah, kudos for, kudos for creativity. SMT, I have the same opinion about Bachman. Yeah. Anyway, I wonder why they cough, cough, nylon gears, cough, nylon gears. <laughs> Go open up our trains, welcome. Go open up our I should let you know, you must be uh, pretty well known for your steam engine videos, because I swear once a live stream, somebody joins in asking, have you seen Go open Opera's video about the marks blank blank? So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. They just want people to play so they sponsor everybody. Power Cynical is the best for me. I, I really like his channel. It's funny, I've been watching his videos for a while. Like, I visited his channel years ago, and I kept coming back to it, but I don't know, I never really started watching it until, like, the end of last year. And I never disliked his videos, so it's not like I was just returning just to see if things had changed. It was really funny. It was like a YouTuber that I liked, and then I, I never watched his stuff. It was very odd. But, uh, yeah... SMT, if you swear, I will downvote. Oh, that's tragic. Commanding Officer Quahada, bruh, I remember the Starbucks days. Lo, those were some good days. You know, the good old days of SMT where I talked at about a million miles an hour and uh, had a background of shelves. They weren't that far away, really. Ancient days, 2018. Woo! SMT is sponsored by Nerf Cat. SMT, the place where bullying companies is 100% illegal. <laughs> Canada's government ma uh, mainly follows British practices. Uh, that's the perception some people have. Um, I mean, we've, we've, we've got ties to to the Brits still, some things need royal assent, yada, 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 but a lot of it's historical, it's, it's, it's not, I don't know, Canada operates a lot more independently, really. We have some stuff that, that ties back, but, uh, not, uh, I don't think it's the same amount as people think. Where's Nerf Cat? Probably upstairs. SMT, could you run the new BNSF-9? Yeah, sure. Uh, is the Hershey Mix Steam Modern Era Rolling Stock? Uh, I don't think it'd be Modern Era Rolling Stock. That would probably be... Well, Hershey actually did have boxcars. There's a photo of one in uh, Smith Falls when they had the Hershey factory there in 1973. So, uh... I don't think the Tyco Hershey box cars are necessarily anything real, but uh, they were using similar stuff in the 70s, I guess, and prior. Yeah, I just put up a video on the Mark Sutson. Oh, that's cool. Well, uh, people were mentioning it, so I'll have to check it out. I'll trade you a couple of rolls of hand sanitizer and toilet paper for the Varney. Nice. <laughs> Where's Nerf Cat? How's he doing? I don't know where he is at the moment. He's probably just chilling on a chair somewhere. He's a funny cat, that one. Run the possible train. Run the po longest possible train. Eh. I'll offer four rolls of toilet paper and two bottles of hand sanitizer. <laughs> We're having a bidding war with hand sanitizer. I don't like Mr. Beast. He's not like my favorite YouTuber, but I, I mean, I'll give him some credit. He, he makes he makes entertaining content, and at least he's cre creative with his ideas. Like I don't like the channel Tech Racks because all he does is he just gets iPhones and he just does like the most mediocre things with them. You know, at least at least Mr. Beast, you know, does some creative stuff. Repeato rules. They make nice things. The Dill Pickle. Here's your Nerf Cat sponsor money. Okay. So the last, last uh, few times uh, 
The Dale of Pickles donated money, and I haven't been able to get Nerf Cat. So this time, I'm going to go upstairs. Hopefully, the neighbor's cat won't run in the house. Nerf Cat won't be in a bad mood. And I'll be able to finally get Nerf Cat down here to thank him for the last three Super Chats, which have gone on over almost a month now. So I'm going to put my phone down here. And you guys can watch the uh, main central go by. And I'm going to go try to find Nerf Cat. As, uh, it's way overdue now. Everyone, uh, don't cause too much trouble while I'm, uh, away from the camera. Well, there he is. He was outside again, although this time he wasn't having a Spanish duel with the neighbor's cat. So uh, here's your boy Nerf Cat. Thanks for the super chats at Dill Pickle. He likes the sponsorship. Get tons of cat treats for him. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> His eyes are all uh, squinty because he just came in from the dark. It's like, ah, it's so bright down here. Hey, Nerf Cat. You like Super Chats? He's a cool color. Yeah, no, it's... It's funny, because a lot of people think his, his breed there is a Russian blue, and a lot of people are like, uh... You know, he's uh, obviously gray, but it's funny, in certain lights, it, the fur has a blue tinge to it. Well, there he goes, and he's headed back upstairs. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Nerf Cat. Anyway, oh, and a dessert's been delivered. Isn't that great? I got a mouse over here for him to play with. <laughs> Nerf Cat's not a very good mouse hunter. He's a hunter. He tries to eat the local birds and wildlife, but he doesn't... Um, he's not a very good mouser, if I'm honest. The only time he got a mouse was back in 2009. We just got back from seeing the movie Avatar. And he hauled a mouse upstairs from the basement. And he was... Uh, the mouse was still alive, running around the house, and my mom and sister were jumping up on chairs, trying to get away, and finally my dad tried to open up the door to let the mouse outside, and the door subsequent, subsequently popped off the hinges. This uh, it was all going on, by the way, while we were having dinner, so not, not great timing, and uh, so then uh, we've now got a mouse running around the kitchen, door off the hinges, my mom and sister up on chairs, and then uh, our house phone rings and our friends call. They had hired a babysitter who could only come for a certain amount of times. And uh, their kids needed to be taken care of because the babysitter could only stay for so long. So in amongst all that, we then need to go over there. <laughs> really odd thing. It all happened at the same time. So we had to figure out a way to get the door back on the hinges. The mouse got away. And uh, that was the end of that. 
But uh, that's the only time I know of that Nerf Cats actually caught a mouse. And he didn't even successfully kill it, he just let it get away. <laughs> Nerf Cat, you know, at a party, yeah. Everyone needs to get over the stigma of their older stuff and try their newest things. Yeah, to be fair, the, the newest Bachman locomotives that I have are from probably about 2012. So I don't know if they've made any major improvements in that time. But I don't think that they've uh, changed up the drive system that much. I, I believe they're still using that really weak link. And uh, I think they still have wipers for pickup, which, you know, it's like... High-end locomotives should almost for certain have bearings to pick up power. They just, they work so much better. They don't put wear on the wheels. They last a long time. You can put lubricants in them that are conductive, so they conduct power perfectly. So, uh, yeah. You need to, uh, if they've stepped up their game on that, I'm willing to have another go, but, yeah, I'm not so sure. SMT, what are you eating? It looks good. It's a, um, it's a tiramisu, I believe is what it's called. Some, uh, some fancy dessert. I don't know. My mom and sister made it. They're quite good at this stuff. Uh, one big change came from Bachman Plus to the new stuff. Usually you see one piece drivers, it's all quality, axle material has changed too. Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe I'll try to find a, uh, a Bachman engine that's modern, like new release, but not too uh, expensive, and then I can I can buy it just so I can disassemble it and tell whether or not I'm, I'm, I'm ready to change my mind or not. <laughs> but I haven't heard, I don't, I haven't heard anything about them, uh, I mean, maybe they've made changes on their steam locomotives. I really hope they have, because my friend had a steam locomotive, and the drivers uh, bent themselves. And uh, that happened, I think, three different times. Or it happened once, but the driver's bending caused three different problems. He had to ship it off to Bachman three different times. It's funny, I mentioned this story uh, last time, and he had, I, I don't know if he had already been in the back or if he just coincidentally joined at the same time, but he joined in, and uh, it's pretty funny. SMT is doing an eating ASMR. No, I'm not a buckbang channel. <laughs> Time for a new train. Maybe a switcher. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to go through. I'll be honest, their GG1s were kind of appealing to me when they had them on Amazon. So maybe I'll get maybe I'll order up one of those. Because I think those are a pretty new release. SMT can run the $3 Conrail. As an expert in the culinary arts, he is correct. Oh, yes. Okay, good, good. Uh, does your family... Ha does your home have any more pets or just the one cat? Uh, my sister has a crested gecko, but that's, uh, that's all the pets we have here. Maybe you've just had bad luck with them, but I love their stuff. Um, I find initially they're very good. I just don't find they last very long. That's my biggest uh, problem with them. And I, even, um, you know, there's a guy who gave me all the extra Bachman stuff. Like, I've, I've, I've actually really, I really like my, uh, like my Bachman. I think it's an RS2 Canadian Pacific. I really like that locomotive. I think it does pretty good with the sound. But, like, the windows just popped out of it one day, and I had to open it up and put them back in. Like, just really odd stuff. I find their uh, quality is just not uh, not consistent. I've had some Bachman engines which have been pretty good. Like my Centennial has given me very little trouble. So I've only I took it in. The only time I've taken in my Centennial was once in two thousand nine because it was making a clicking noise. But that might have been because ballast got in the gearbox, and I'm not gonna knock it for that. That might not be its fault. 
They know the hobby shop never told me if it was a cracked gear or not. So for like that engine, which I'm pretty sure I also got used, um, big props to Bachman. They did a good job with that one. But a lot of my other stuff has been uh, it's been a lot of it, it's been a lot of trouble. I find one thing or another goes wrong. And the most common problem I've had uh, is the uh, that one screw, that bitty little screw that holds the truck on. You know, I bump it, or sometimes it just breaks off with wear. And it's happened, uh, it's happened several times, and it only happens to my Bachman engines, all my Athern and even lifelike engines you know, from when I was a kid. My, almost every Bachman locomotive I've had has had a problem at some point in its span. Um, my lifelike engines have very, had very few problems, all of my Athern engines have had very few problems. But like Bachman's been the one make I've had a lot of issues with. But maybe that's just bad luck. I don't know. Uh, run the steam daylight with the diesel. Yeah, the Bachman daylight doesn't run. What's your highest quality or most expensive loco? Um, it might be the Broadway Limited Switcher. I'm pretty sure that's uh, a pricier one. And then below that, it would probably be my Bowser uh, locomotives. Maybe, um, I mean, the Rapido stuff is pretty high up there. The, the Hiawatha Fox Valley one is probably pretty good, too. But, uh, yeah, that would be the more expensive stuff. Although, I've got a new uh, engine on the way, which is going to top all of those. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a good time. Hey, look who's here. Doing God here. Thank you, uh, train shed and the work. That's it. Wife hates it. Oh, dear. Well, uh, thanks for joining in, Sparky. I um, did, uh, if you go in the uh, description, I put a link to your channel, and I, uh, in the beginning, told everybody to uh, go check out your uh, little shout-out program there. As I said, I would in the email. Well, look who's come back. Nerf Cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> this is why we don't have a Miss SMT because women hate trains well not all of them do but um, I don't know I think it's unlikely I'm ever going to find a girlfriend who's going to I think if I find a girlfriend she might tolerate the trains but I don't think I'm ever going to find one that's like truly uh, in full support especially uh if I'm spending a lot of time and money on it, I don't feel like that's going to be uh, such a such a great uh, a great selling point. Uh, hey SMT, do you have any Proto 2000 series locomotives? I do. I, I don't have a lot of Proto locomotives, but all the ones I do have, I'm pretty happy with. It's okay, Nerf Cat, it's the heater. SMT is going to spend more money on his trains than if he gets a girlfriend. <laughs> I probably already do. I think I'm past that point. Although, I don't know, there have been there have a couple months where I've actually broke even uh, with YouTube and the trains, so... Uh, if it's a, it's a, if it's a, uh, whatever you would call it, a self-sustaining uh, system, I, I don't, I don't think I can knock it. What do you think of River I see Allegheny? I don't know. My miss likes trains, even broader Z scale. Yeah, I know. It, it's not, it's not all women that that hate trains. There are females in the hobby too, you know. It's like, uh, my, uh, the number of, uh, girls that watch my videos, it's between, uh, 15 to 25 percent. Certainly not the biggest stake, but it's a stake nonetheless. Hmm. 
Nerf cat ever dreamt on the train table and stroll? Yeah, no, he's, he's gone up there a few times. If I put a chair near the layout, he'd probably climb up there. And now that I think about it, I don't even know. Yeah, my chair's out there. I just realized I haven't seen it for a while. Here, let's put this bench beside the layout. Let's see if that, let's see if that motivates him. He probably won't, but I'm not going to, like, force him up there or anything, obviously. I don't know. There he goes. <laughs> I consider that a large percentage of females. Yeah, I know, like, 15% is not too bad, but yeah, like, a couple months ago, it was up to 25%, which is, I'd never seen it that high before, but it's, throughout my channel's history, it's been about 15%, which is a pretty good amount, in my opinion, uh, and at uh, and at train shows too, uh, there's always a few uh, few ladies running a small layout or something like that. So they are in the hobby, it's just not to the same extent. A few uh, few channels like uh, Lowville, uh, oh, Lowville. It's something. It's Lowville something. I can't remember, but she has a channel there. There's um. I can't remember her channel name, but it's something. Her name's Rachel. So there's. Her, uh, Nancy, Spirit of Durango, and they're in there, and they're around. Is there a Varney... Tr Is the Varney the only train with a seven-pole motor? Yeah, and, uh, a lot of people have been telling me it's, uh, somewhat rare. Apparently, uh, not all the Varney locomotives had seven poles, so... I'm, uh, I'm thankful that I was one person who got to, uh, got to get one sort of special. Random question. Uh, no, I don't have currently have a girlfriend, but uh, there have been uh, a fair amount of girls down here, around my age, actually. Um, and uh, I don't think they you know, would care too much for the hobby, but whenever they see the whole layout and operation, they, they seem genuinely interested, I'll, I'll say that. You know, I think it is sort of an interesting hobby, maybe not the trains themselves, but just the entire layout and stuff like that, you know, so. Uh, SMT, you look different in the video you posted on the first, but I can't quite point it out. <laughs> I see what you did there. Time to run a different train. All right. Hello, SMT. What's your opinion on seven pole motors? To me, it's rare. Um, well, I was really impressed to see that. I didn't even know they made any, uh, locomotives with seven pole motors but um i mean that's good five pole motors are really good motors okay you know they're higher torque than three poles but, but uh a seven pole motor i mean i i don't know how much i'm sure i'm sure five is the most efficient number that's probably why they're so common because three poles i believe use less power than five poles i could be mistaken on that but i think that's why bachman's putting three poles in some of its engines because they're more efficient but um yeah, I'd, uh, a seven-pull motor, I'm sure it'd have some crazy torque. I'll have to do some pulling uh, capacity tests with that engine. I bet it's pretty good. Can you run Spaceball 1? Yeah, okay, okay. i have to dig out that engine. SMT, how did you ballast your track? I took ballast. Um, I spread it out with a... paintbrush an old paintbrush and then once you get it spread out you tap the track and the ballast falls right into place i took sprayed that with alcohol and then uh put some uh put some glue over that and a channel called steam power put a uh, super chat it says Shh, don't tell my mom well i'll be sure not to thanks for the super chat oh, and uh, as i say for all super chats serenity 
As I said earlier, I found a few more posts and links regarding the Varney motor. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to go back and have a look at that because I'm, uh, I'm frankly quite, uh, quite curious about it. I was, well, I mean, every people who have seen the video know what my reaction was. SMT, you're still, yeah, I know. You're on the Seaborg. Vernie's an HO kid. I saw one on eBay on YouTube. Uh, the bigger diameter winding wire makes more power, uh, more pulls is for smoother operation. Okay, that makes sense. I will have a bit of a rant on my next live stream. Uh, your email sparked a bit of it. Yeah, I, uh, I hope, uh, I hope I uh, worded that well, Sparky. I, I didn't want to. Uh, I'm not trying to be uh, offensive or anything like that. I really do. Uh, I really do like uh, what you, what you're doing. I just wanted to uh, to bring up that, but I, uh, I I did botch it a little bit. I'm going to be honest, but I hope uh, I hope I wasn't part of any. Uh, hate group or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, ru ruin what you're trying to do. Uh, you're the second in my reply comment section of the Varney repair vid. Okay, well, I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, can I get your email so I can send you an email about a loco that rattles and derails on curves? Yeah, um, it's scrumptiousmodeltrains at gmail.com. Uh, random question. Does N-Scale track work with 1 out of 144? I, I don't know what 144 is. I don't know what, a, what 1 out of 144 is. Is that a scale? 7 pull motor provides great creep performance. I suspect it would. You did word it right, lol. My video was just to get the channel names into one spot to get people to find new channels, not to sublink. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Again, I don't want to. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to rock any boats, really. SMT, can you show me your Atherin Genesis 282 Mikado? Yeah, um, yeah, we could actually run that one because I did some work on it a few days ago. I was going to do a video about it because I thought, oh, yeah, I can I can fix up this engine. But first of all, I discovered it's really hard to work on. Um, but the pro when I opened things up, I would check the wheel bearings. Everything was clean. The oil was in good shape. So I was like, um... I was like, okay, well, what's the problem? I checked the wheels, and it was really hard to see, but they had oxidized a bit, so I cleaned them up. But I don't know. I'm not going to upload a video of me just, I don't know, cleaning wheels on a locomotive. I, I feel like that would be sort of silly. So, SMT, can you run the Southern F unit? I know Atlas made some of those in the 80s. Is it also an Atlas? It's, um, I think it's a hobby town, actually. It's my only hobby town locomotive. Yeah, let's get some new power on the layout here. Let's get the uh, RDC back around. <laughs> I like how much uh, this thing uh, tilts on corners. Oh yeah, it's great. Um, where is my locomotive? 
here it is. So yeah, here it is. It's a hobby town. Really peculiar drive system. But uh, it does run okay, provided the uh, band isn't slipping. Or the Bombardier. We haven't run the Bombardier Talent in a really long time, actually. Run the Atlas RFMP unit. RFMP. Oh, yeah, we can run that. We'll run the uh, Atherin Genesis steamer after this. <laughs> it doesn't start. Something's up. Well, I guess that's another locomotive I can stick into the repair bay. See, this is what's great about doing these live streams. I discover so many problems with uh, all of my equipment. Okay, next up, Athern Genesis Mikado. Run the Kool-Aid train, please. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna run the uh, this one. I'm gonna pull out the RFMP this that way. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget about it. Everybody knows I will, including me. Is DCC still on? No, it's set to the DC setting. I think it just. Uh, I think I think a wire or some. Uh, it's a pretty old locomotive, and the soldering joints in it are kind of shady. So sometimes it's happened before where they've broke. In fact, I'm pretty sure that was how I received it. So yeah, it just needs a little work. I think this one needs a bit more work too. I don't know. I put the because I had to take all these parts off of it, but I don't know if I put them back. Um, speaking... Oh, Nick the Train Nerd's here! Uh, speaking of talents, it seems like the city is auctioning off. The service lifts the bidding ends. In two days, it will be sitting at $25 ever since it went up. Somebody bid $25 for the Bombardier Talents? <laughs> I hope it's not a scrapping company. It would be fantastic if it was a museum, although I bet it's not. 25 <laughs> Hell, I'll cough up uh, 50 bucks for a museum if they'll save them. Okay, uh, I don't know what this is programmed to. I'm gonna, I think it's four, I don't know. No, it's two. Uh, maybe it was four, I just realized I didn't have it set right. SMT bid on it. If I had the resources to move trains, I'd be happy to buy those things in a heartbeat, but uh, I don't think your average 19-year-old can just go out and buy some trains with no plan. Uh, the city's probably... The city, you can probably buy the trains dirt cheap, but you probably sign some paper that says, uh, you know, the city, you have to remove the trains by a certain amount of time or else the city will uh, get to take everything you own or something like that. Wow, look at that. Pure majesty. <laughs> Can we see another video of the loco Varney locomotive? Well, if I uh, manage to get more work done on it, then I probably, uh, like if I can front of, find the front of a boiler, I can, uh, I'll probably do another video on it. Just tow it. You buy it, you move it. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's the deal. Again, if I owned, like, a freight yard or something, or had a friend who is <laughs> an expert of removing trains, I'd snap them up, but, uh, I don't know. To move three German trains, you're probably looking at about a million dollars, and then you probably have to get insurance on top of that. I don't think it's a, a cheap operation. SMT driving the talent around this. Yeah, well, the problem with the talents is apparently nobody's making parts for them anymore, so nobody really wants to touch them with a 10-foot pole because, great, you buy these trains for 20 bucks, literally 20 bucks, and then uh, you've got these locomotives or these German trains. You, you know, great, they run for a month, and they've been sitting for yeah over five years now, so they're not going to be in great shape. 
Uh, I think they each require repair, which would an overhaul, which would cost a million dollars with parts you can't replace. So uh, I don't know why any city would buy them. Harrison's dad, what's in the yard? <laughs> well, that's the thing too. They're not auctioning off one Bombardier talent. They're auctioning off three of them. And one of them uh, is not even uh, the uh, Transport Canada took away its certification because it apparently i think somebody over it was a winter day and i don't know if they couldn't break properly but apparently they overshot uh the end of the line and they destroyed the front truck on it so uh it's not certified to operate on any railway so you've got a complete parts locomotive also i'm pretty sure since it derailed it probably uh, screwed up the frame because one of the windows on a hot day just the front window on the uh, train uh, I think it was the, uh, s uh, one of the front windows on the train, it just blew out one day, one summer. Probably because it was under pressure from derailing years before. Uh, so you've got a parts locomotive, or parts train, and then you've got two others, and, uh, they're both in horrible condition, so... They need, uh, I believe they need new batteries too, which uh, are not cheap, so... They'd be, uh, I, I really, really do hope, here's the thing, they're not, no museum would want to buy them right now, or even really take them, because they have no historical value, you know, they're from the late 90s, early 2000s, but you give those things 50 years, they'll eventually become historic artifacts, in fact, I think they're, uh, I think they're, uh, You know, quite interesting actually, because they were the only train that could operate on both. They could operate on full-fledged railroads, and they can operate on light rail lines, and uh, they had active tilt, so they're pretty unique. And they could run on both diesel and electric. It could be modified for both, but um, yeah, they just don't have any historical value. But you give them, you know, 40, 50 years, eventually they will. The talents aren't $25, those are the maintenance lifts. The talents themselves are dirt cheap, but insurance is up to a million bucks. Okay, maintenance lifts. Are they? Oh, so they're trying to auction off the, uh, the stuff in the service bay. Well, I don't know who's going to buy that. Although the talents themselves are probably worth negative dollars. It's one of those things for the city would probably pay you money to get rid of them. I don't know why the city has to pay a million dollars of the insurance though on three trains that are uh, not uh, not even in service anymore. The train that I'm talking about in uh, 2001, the city of Ottawa was building its first light rail network on Canadian Pacific track, basically. They were doing an experiment to see how well light rail would do in the city. So they ordered up three German-built Bombardier Talents, just like that. And they operated them uh, from 2001 till 2015, and then they replaced them with Alstom LINT train sets, because even though the Talents were still in working order, Al uh, Bombardier stopped uh, making parts. So the city has three Bombardier Talents, which they've been trying to get rid of. They were supposed to be scrapped, but they never were. For some reason and now they're they're just they're out in a train yard right now uh rotting away with uh no real plan for history but uh here they are i have a model of one please run a full train i would cannibalize the talent for parts and make the other two run yeah i don't know how long it would go for and i think all three of them all three sets have bad batteries i think uh, the batteries all need to be replaced so it's really, uh, it's really not of, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what's going to happen to them. If I hate to say it, they may, might get scrapped, but, uh, it would be nice if a museum would come along. Like the Seashore Trolley Museum, uh, like Boston Transit, pretty much whenever they have old, like, subway cars and stuff, they just send them off to the Seashore Trolley Museum. Like, the Seashore Trolley Museum in Maine is, like, a dumping ground for these old trains. And they eventually do restore them. They just take forever to do it. So I wish, uh, I wish Ottawa had a similar museum. Like, I wish Smith Falls Railway Museum would be willing to do the same thing and become a dumping ground for uh, old trains because then years and years in the future, when they've 
pretty much uh, rotted away, they'll still be around to be restored so that we have historical trains. That's how it goes. It's always the people that save the stuff that's worthless that... It's like every year when I go to Seashore Trolley Museum, we ride around on some different trolley, and uh, the story always goes, oh, this trolley was supposed to be scrapped, but some people decided to save it. And everybody's always like, why would you scrap this beautiful trolley? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's got all this, like, wood paneling and stuff like that, and it's stained and whatnot. But when cities are getting rid of this stuff, nobody wants it. It's, like, last gen. So that's where the talents are right now. But um, they're going to be historic someday, you know. But uh, it's funny. It's like people are willing to acknowledge that uh, how crazy it is that at one point they wanted to destroy these beautiful trolleys and, and now people are thankful they didn't destroy these. People, some people had, you know, they were farsighted enough to, uh, to save a few of them. But uh, they also aren't willing, they aren't willing to apply that same logic to stuff which is currently in the same position those trolleys were. It's a really odd uh, paradox. Uh, tape 12 car batteries together, and boom, working battery life and fire hazard. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go to, uh, to Jim's auto garage and uh, say, hey, I need some used car batteries. I'm going to get the talents. Uh, speaking of talents, uh, C3 has been gutted for parts since it was the one that derailed C1 and 2 are still in storage, but as you mentioned, a large amount of work needs to get done. That makes sense. I mean, it would be nice if they could have saved all three of them, but frankly, C3... Um, again, it wasn't certified, uh, to run on any railroad, so I don't, I, why would anybody touch that? I imagine the talents must be worth something in parts, though, because if nobody's making parts for them, I'm sure there are, uh, railroads in Germany who still operate them and probably, uh, still want parts for them, so hopefully they can raise some money for that. Uh, Nate the Great Productions, fun fact, I actually wrote the old, uh, in... MBTA Blue Line Cars at the she Seashore Trolley Museum in 2015. I would love to uh, go on... There's a certain day they have at that museum where they take out all the old... Uh, uh, I want to... Like, subway cars and things like that. It would be really cool to uh, to ride around on those. I've seen videos of those... Uh, of the old Blue Line cars going around there, but... Uh, I've You know, the best... The, yeah, the craziest thing... I ever saw them operating there was the old trolley from Montreal, the one that didn't have a roof. It's like a convertible. SMT, how long are you going to talk about this? I don't know. Um, Jason Lowe's. I'm from Alberta. Oh, welcome. Okay, I think this locomotive was number 4926. Yep. D6, there we are, DCC mode, oh, let's even put the lights on. Some of you ever been at any train stores in Indiana? I have never been to uh, the state of Indiana before, so uh, I couldn't say. Hey, can I have 35 car batteries? Yeah, I just need to get uh, Nia Cadmium batteries. Everybody hates uh, nickel uh, NICD batteries. But uh, I've got an old uh, NICD battery. It's great. You surge it with some power every few months, and it lasts forever. Dawson, SMT, I'm bidding on a Buffalo and Pittsburgh Railroad SD45. I bid 1200 so far, and it's the highest bid. Really, Dawson, you're buying a train. So what you're telling me is the talents are a failed city experiment. Well, they're not a failed city experiment because... Um, ultimately, they wound up replacing them. Like, if, 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 if light rail hadn't been a success because... If the Talents hadn't succeeded, then light rail would have probably been determined to not be the route to go for, and then the city likely never would have replaced them. They did replace them because they were success. In fact, they doubled the number. 
the original line only had two trains in operation at a time, and now I believe they have four uh, trains in operation on that same line, and that doesn't even include the new uh, LRT service. So they were a success, um, but they just couldn't last as long as they had hoped. Like, I think they were going to run them... Theoretically, the Talons probably could have run for another, like, three years before uh, they would have, you know, needed to be uh, replaced. But uh, I think the city just didn't see any point. Like, first of all, they couldn't really get the parts, so I don't know if they could make parts, but I imagine the city probably concluded that any solution to try to keep them going would be kind of futile because in a few years they would have to replace them all anyway. What's the longest stream you've ever had? I did a stream once that I think was three and a half hours long. That was pretty, pretty wild. Nerf was here earlier. Yeah, he was. Uh, the BNP is auctioning off because they're retiring them. Yeah, but Dawson, if you buy a locomotive, where, what are you going to do with it? Like, where are you going to store it? Uh, Ottawa O-Train failed. It was a social experiment. Yeah. SMT, you should be a train for Halloween. I actually was when I was a kid. I, uh, I loved it. My mom, uh, my mom got me this box, and we put a, um, kind of rounds. It was, uh, it was actually a Pennsylvania Railroad we themed it off of, and it had the Pennsylvania Railway logo, and we, uh, put a flashlight for the front light and stuff like that. It's the engineer. I have to dig that up. I, I liked that Halloween, though. That was so much fun. Uh, there's one of the Montreal tramways open trolleys that runs at the museum in Connecticut. I think only four of those exist. So, uh, yeah, I know there. I know uh, there's one in at Expo Rail in Montreal, and then there's the one uh, at Seashore Trolley Museum. So... Uh, the talents were leased as a test from 2001 to 2005, then the city of Ottawa outright purchased them for $600 million. I had no idea about that, Nick. That's really interesting. Uh, SMT, can you do some more giveaways? I'm probably going to do a giveaway pretty soon. What was your favorite cartoon? Oh, that's an interesting question. I can't think of. I mean, I watched a lot of cartoons when I was a kid, but I can't. I can't think of any off the top of my head that would have. Um, uh, Scooby Doo, uh, Pink Panther, Scooby Doo and Pink Panther. I, I like those two shows quite a bit. I guess that's what I would say. The original ones too, not 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 some weird modern remake like the actual like. 1960s era Scooby Doo and the actual 1960s era Pink Panther. Do you listen to any Queen music? Yeah, I like Queen. It's good, good band. Night. Uh, the talents are like units in the 70s, old, worn out, and obsolete. In 20 years, museum will want them badly, like all museums want them. Well, I feel like the talents were particularly special because, again, they they were like. Uh, talent to me is a really fitting name for them because they really could, you know, as I said earlier, they had active tilt. They could run on uh, over electricity from overhead wires. They could also be diesel powered, like the city of Ottawa had them, and they could op. I, I think they might be the only, if not one out of two, of only different types of trains that could operate on both uh, light rail and uh, full size. Because most, like you can't run a freight train on 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 the same line a light rail like trams run on uh and vice versa you can't run trams on a um like on a on a freight track if there are freight trains operating on it you know it's it breaks regulations because light rail trains have different certification i guess from uh full-size trains but the talents were an exception they were certified for both because they met the uh, acceleration and braking needs to operate on uh tramways <laughs> They could operate them on the streets. Um, but I guess they also met all the criteria to operate on a conventional railroad. So uh, I don't think there's uh, really any other uh, train that can uh, take that claim to fame. That's 
That's that's pretty unique in my opinion. Hey SMT, have you heard of a three dollar HO scale Okmo? Because I found one on eBay and I was very shocked. Be very careful um, buying cheap trains off of eBay because sometimes some listers they uh, put a train up. Hey, you can buy it for buy it now for five dollars. Oh, that seems like a good deal. But then you check the shipping and it's it says uh, it costs like two hundred and fifty dollars to ship it, even though it's from some state you're not that far away from. So be careful because sometimes they try to mislead you by. Uh, just gouging people on the shipping. It's a really nasty tactic, in my opinion. Uh, SMT, what do you think would happen if you did a 24-hour live stream? Uh, I can only imagine there being a lot of coffee. I don't know if I could do a 24-hour live stream. I find my brain is already pretty melted by the end of most live streams. Uh, so I, I, I suspect uh, I would just not make any sense whatsoever. Uh, my cousin owns a mile-long spur track on the BNP, and he gets refrigerator cars for his campground during the summer. All right. What are your thoughts on Broadway Limited Imports locomotives? Well, personally, I've had pretty good experiences with them. I only have one Broadway Limited locomotive, so I, I don't have a ton of experience, but the experience I have had with that engine's been good, but... I can't say I've heard entirely flawless things about them. I have heard some uh, negative, uh, negative stuff about their quality, so I don't know. Uh, have you ever been to the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania? I've been to Steamtown National Historic Site, but uh, I don't think that that's the same museum you're referring to. Steam powered, running in scale diesel. Okay, okay. I've been bribed, everyone. I love the old scale Scooby Doo. The new stuff is garbage. I mean, I watched the new stuff. I didn't hate it or anything like that, but uh, I mean, the original series is the original series. I didn't like the new Pink Panthers, though. The one where the Pink Panther actually talks. Like, to me, a key part of the show is that the Pink Panther is silent. It's like silent slapstick comedy, kind of like Buster Keaton in a weird way. It's part of the joke, so I find they sort of ruin that by making him talk, but uh, but yeah, I found that way more offensive than uh, than the modern Scooby-Doo's. North American Trains, welcome, how are you? SMT, can you run your BNSF-9, please? Um, yes. There it goes. Uh, do you know if you have a keyboard, you can hold down the shift key, and it highlights stuff. No, it wasn't a... Do you mean, like, uppercase letters? classification of light rail was just the city making it look attractive to the public the main reason why the city used them separately because it never reached tsb engine requirements yeah i don't know i mean there was some talk about them running uh running them on the streets but i know there was a lot of concern that uh they were gonna have accidents frankly i don't think it'd be very safe to be running uh trains of that size on the streets even if they quote unquote could but uh yeah You should buy some more intermodals. Yeah, that would be cool. I was looking for a G-Scale set on eBay and found one to use for $120, but it was over $200 in shipping going over three states. Yeah, I know. That's 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 how they get you if, uh, if you find a good deal. Have you ever heard of Scale Trains? Their products seem really nice. Yeah, I've heard of Scale Trains. I've actually heard pretty much all good things about them, although I've never worked with any of their products. I'm... Uh, I'm thinking of uh, ordering something up just so I can uh, work on it. I'm uh, I'm pretty confident it would be uh, similar quality to like Rapido, Stuart, 
hobbies. Stuart, it's funny, I kind of overlooked Stuart um, as a brand, but they actually made some really great stuff as well. North American Trains, I'm doing pretty well. How are you? I'm well. Can you run your Lionel locomotive? Yeah, sure. So I just noticed the super chat went up to, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> North American Trains. Thank you so much, uh, Pedro. I appreciate that very much. Also, every time somebody uh, posts a super chat, I say uh, my favorite word for describing things that uh, are successful. Serenity! The search for Miss SMT continues. Oh, is that everybody's mission now? I'll let this do two laps. I'm gonna have to end off the live stream uh, pretty soon. Hey, the end gate just running. Yeah, I'm running it for a little while. I've been curious about automatic model railroad operation recently. The Museum of Science and Industry uh, Chicago's layout is run by a computer. I, uh, I didn't know that there were layouts entirely operated by computers. I know, uh, some layouts are, uh, computer-assisted, but, uh, I feel like that would have a lot of problems because, um, I mean, for example, uh, me as a human can acknowledge there is a, uh, freight car where it's not supposed to be on this train. Um, but if that were to derail and cause a derailment, I don't know how a computer would react. I don't know if it'd be able to tell. Is that most? I've seen, uh, like, Expo Rail has a layout there, and I believe they have several people operating it when it is open. Cam Ryan, hello, so SMT, when are you going to answer me? Well, uh, I found that comment. Awesome Gamer 10, I'm back. <laughs> Your Dash 9 turned into a mid-train DPU, yeah. Oh, wait, I know what time it is. Here, wait, I just need to get over to the perfect spot. I haven't done this in a while, because last time I uh, severely, apparently offended rail fans, but uh, it's too good right now not to do this. Okay, everyone, so here we're out rail fanning on the uh, SMT Mainline CSX subdivision. As we see, um, CSX-9 number... Um, 4962 is a mid-train DPU go by. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was funny. I always do that for kicks, but you know, one one time uh, somebody starts doing things. I was like, SMT is making fun of uh, us rail fanners out there. That's offensive. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm a train nerd too. I'm not trying to mock anyone. I'm just, you know, having a bit of fun with it. Use Arduino to run my trolley using Raspberry Pi. I have a Raspberry Pi. I haven't used it since 2015, so I should haul it out and see if I can do some interesting stuff with it on the layout. SMT, have you heard of Northlands? Yes, I have. It's a place on my uh, lifetime bucket list. I want to visit Northlands. I've uh, There's actually a video. I think it's... Uh, I have a playlist. It's been around for a while. It's called, like, My Favorite Model Train Videos. And I think the first video I have there is a small documentary about Northlands, and it was uh, really well done. Dank Maple Leaf. Oh, yeah. I can program computers, and a project I want to do on my layout is to connect a Raspberry Pi to my main controller and remotely control the trains via an aircraft controller. That's a really cool project. I'm sure you'd be uh, successful with that. SMT makes offensive means about rail fanning. Yeah, I know. Can you read my comment, not my last one? Uh, I can't find it. Just post it in the chat again. Hopefully it will go by. Uh, I've been there twice. It's incredible to go during the school year on a weekday if you can when there's not many people you can walk through in peace. That's, uh, I would like to visit it at a time like that. I'm not the type of person that, like, hates people, but I, whenever I'm visiting, like, a museum and stuff like that, it's it's really so much more pleasant to go through when it's nice and quiet and not uh, filled with uh, kids charging into your feet and screaming. <laughs> 
or uh, when you're at an airport and you try to do a live stream showing off the train stuff you bought and there are kids running over your legs. If anybody remembers that story. Offensive SMT compilation. <laughs> oh boy. I uh, started collecting Tyco Canadiana boxcars ever since you showed us yours. I think they're cool. Ah, good for you. I, I, uh, I'm a big fan. Big fan of them. Aussie Railways Exploration, I'm still here. How do you run two engines that are different speeds? Well, if they're both DCC, I believe there's a way to uh, speed coordinate them. Uh, otherwise, there's not much you can do, unfortunately. Uh, SMT streams are so offensive, they can't be repeated in French. That's why... He doesn't have French subtitles, of course, yeah. Although, uh, something, I, I, don't, I don't know if people from America know this, but uh, English swear words to people that speak French are, they're meaningless, really. Like, <laughs> it's so funny, because I've got friends, you know, and they're, uh, they grew up speaking French, and they swear a lot, sometimes around kids and stuff like that. And everyone always kind of looks at them like, whoa, when they're like, well, what did I say? It's just, I don't know, it's funny because, of course, to people that speak English, French swear words don't seem meaning, meaningful, but it's the other way around. So, yeah, it's pretty funny, especially in Quebec, you get a lot of that. My, uh, my favorite story, though, is my dad went to a uh, store, it's very popular here, called Canadian Tire. And the cash register wasn't working, so the uh, girl running this register called her boss over and when uh, he showed up, he said in French, you know, like, what's going on with it? And she replied uh, with some Fringlish and said, it's all effed up, except she <laughs> said the, the, full, the full swear, which, uh, which was pretty funny. <laughs> she didn't get in trouble, by the way. Hey, I'm going to leave. If you don't let me go, I will unsubscribe and never come back. If I don't let you go, well, I, I, I don't know what it is you want from me, but frankly, if it's that easy to break things up, yeah, <laughs> all the power to you. Uh, it's the worst when there's a Karen out telling the kids it's okay to climb the trains. <laughs> totally agree. Went to a museum of American Revolution in Philadelphia. And uh, the experience was hindered by fourth graders on the field. It's not even little kids. Like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm taking a jab at the younger kids, but it's not even them. Like, a few months ago, uh, my school went on a field trip, and uh, my class ranges from, I think, I think the youngest people in my class were about 16 or 17. I was 18 at the time. And we go to a museum, and, uh, you know, the school says to everyone, you know, we're going to... Let you go around the museum on your own, which, frankly, I'm surprised they did, but I guess they figured we were old enough and mature enough to handle something like this. And they said, but everybody has to be respectful, walk around slowly, you know, don't be too loud and stuff like that. So everyone nods their head and says yes. And the second we get into the museum and the teachers have gone off to check out other things, um, everybody coordinates a game of manhunt, and we're all, like, charging around the museum and stuff like that, and... Uh, I went and did a live stream of the trains. I'm not sure if anybody remembers that, but I headed off and I was like, yeah, screw this. I'm, I'm not part of this off information. And then a whole bunch of them almost got kicked out of the museum because uh, they were running around and got caught several times by different people. And, uh, yeah. But even in my live stream, they were, like, running by and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, nice work, everyone. Uh, where's the place where you get those trains? Please read my comment. I always wanted to know that. Uh, I get most of my trains at train shows. It doesn't quite have the same punches in other languages. Yeah, exactly. It, you know, because you grow up and, and you're taught a word's bad, and so it has it has that punch because it's a it's a it's forbidden or whatever. But uh, you know, I guess you learn it you, when you learn a new language when you're older. It just I don't know. It seems meaningless or something. But uh, I just find it funny the uh, 
the things that that causes here sometimes. Stratsburg is like Mecca for Karens and spoiled toddlers. Oh boy. Excuse my little angels, they're allowed to climb on the trains. <laughs> I was in timeout and I want him to get me out, so I said that. Okay. SMT, run the locomotive. That is the longest amount of time since you ran it. But I'm sorry. Okay. I forgive you, but not the guy that called the cop. Somebody called the cops on you. What? Can we see the advancement of the Hershey? There, there hasn't been anything that's happened to the Hershey factory down here. I've been working on it a ton. Uh, but uh, one of these days, I'm going to finish all my work upstairs, which I'm almost nearing, and then I'm going to haul the parts back down here, and uh, uh, factory progress is going to spike. Uh, SMT, have you been able to read the book you received on the types of American steam locomotives? I have not gotten around to that yet, no. How long before the live stream ends? I'm probably going to end it within the next couple minutes. Honestly. SMT, what is the name of the live stream? I don't know, it's called something... Oh, the live stream where the kids uh, were running... I don't. I unlisted it, you can't find it anywhere on the internet, because it only went on for a few minutes, but... Um, yeah, I was at Cincinnati, Kentucky Airport, and there were some... Uh, I was I had all my train stuff. My dad had headed off to to go to some little shop, so I was just there. I had some time on my hands. I had all my train stuff with me, so I was like, "Oh, this is going to be great." There's nobody else in this airport lounge. I can do a nice like quiet, peaceful live stream. This is going to be great. And then this super annoying family showed up and ruined it. <laughs> That's really the whole story. They were uh, very frustrating. It's been fun. Had a stressful day work. Thanks for the laughs. Oh, yeah. Thanks for uh, stopping by, uh, DB Tech David. Nice having you on. I think the last time I was physically on a train was last November in the cab of 1939 at a museum with another adult group. Um, you should call the next live stream the next, uh, running some scrumptious model trains to confuse the OG fans. Well, that, I don't think that would confuse the, uh, OG fans. That would, inc that would confuse the, uh, the new fans who, uh, who don't, who don't, who don't know, uh, what SMT stands for. They'd all be like, why, why, why is it called scrumptious? That doesn't make any sense. Do you have a DC? Do you have a dock sound car? I'm looking to buy one. I I don't have any uh, sound cattle cars. That'd be a cool thing though. Karen says, "Give all your trains to a spoiled brat." I'm watching your whole stream. Thank you so much, uh, Benjamin Vang. Shocks train says, "My mommy says, give you your trains." Oh yeah. Super fan, do you have a wife? <laughs> no, I, I'm 19. As as far as I'm concerned, I've I've got I've got a bit of time uh, before I need to worry about that. Is being subscribed since 1K OG? Yes, it definitely is. Uh, Yellow bonnet, because people who have been subscribed since 1K have been around uh, since the uh, SM since the scrumptious model train days. That's like that's the OG club, the uh, scrumptious model train. Uh, People. Subaru fan, I feel bad for you. Why do you feel bad for me? I'm going to uh, end the live stream when it hits uh, 180 minutes, which should be in about a minute. The OG club. <laughs> North American Trains, you were in the OOG club because I'm pretty sure you were the first one of the first 100, so that would have been uh, the double-digit days. That's what we'll call them. How do I send things to you? Uh, I have a video online. It's called 
uh, SMT Mainline, I got a P.O. Box, and if you search that up, you should find uh, that video, and then in the description of that video, I have... Um, I have my uh, post office box address. Actually, there's a boxer over here. It has my post office box address. So if you want to take a screenshot, just need to make sure I don't here. I'm just gonna put this over the other addresses. There we are. And we'll just have Die Hard cover up this. Okay, I don't think people can see anything else. There we are. So there it is for anybody who uh, is interested. I really should just put it in the description of these live streams because uh, at least once or twice a stream, I have somebody say, oh, what's your post office box? How's everything running? It's running pretty well. I'm actually about to end off the live stream, but uh, yeah. Are you going to link your new line with your old one? Oh, it's all, this, it's all, this, it's all the same channel. Unless you're asking about this, so these will eventually be linked, but, uh, yeah. Chantel Muir, that's, that's a, uh, French name. I can't pronounce it correctly, but it says I'm from the Udaway. Oh, that's cool. I've got someone else from the, uh, from the Udaway. Yeah, Udaway, for anybody who doesn't know, is the, uh, area that comprises, uh, Gatineau and Ottawa. It's also sometimes referred to as the Ottawa Valley, although I prefer uh, the Udaway because the Udaway uh, isn't specific versus the Ottawa Valley kind of just sounds like Ottawa. I was asking about the railway. I was looking on eBay for three hours, and I found the cheapest one brand new. Have you ever heard of John Allen? That sounds like a familiar name, actually, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't pin a face to it. Thanks for explaining the O O D way. <laughs> I'm from Port Portneuf. Portneuf. I think that's how you pronounce it. A small country near Quebec City. Oh wow! Not a lot of people in here from Quebec. For anybody who doesn't know, I am uh, I am a Quebecer, so uh, much respect. Very famous model railroad. I think you'd like his work. I've probably seen some of it, honestly. Have you ever heard of Joe? Yeah. Well, what's this whole thing about Joe? This, this rings a bell. I think I'm going to be sending you an Oslo, though. Oh, well, that'd be cool. I have a model railway history, a fully intact President's Choice with the box. Nice. When did you start building your layout? 2007. Do I have Snapchat? No, I have Instagram, which is ironic because I don't like Instagram because it's part of Facebook, but uh, it's the only social media I could really operate this type of thing on. Got an HO Big Boy Lionel for $350. That seems not too bad. In eighth grade, almost, but the whole class went to Quebec. I didn't go. Yeah, the truth is I'm, I've been to different parts of Quebec. I've been to Montreal uh, and uh, some small uh, towns in between, like Montebello and things like that, but I have not explored the province as much as I should have. I'm going to have to go on a... Uh, Quebec trip, because there are some really interesting uh, train stores and stuff like that throughout Quebec that I'd love to visit eventually, especially in Montreal. There's apparently quite a few, so uh, yeah, that's uh, where I want to go all in good time. How old are you when you started your layout? I was... I, I got this layout as a birthday gift in 2007, so I would have been turning six years old. I was still pretty, still pretty young. I can never find your Instagram. It's linked on my channel. Um, if you go to like my channel on the homepage for where the banner is, you know, a picture of the city, uh, you should be able to find it there. And the name is just my name, SMT Mainline, just with an underscore in the middle. So, um, can you tag your Instagram? It should be easy to find. 
Anyway, uh, this has been going on for another five minutes uh, longer than I was uh, supposed to run the stream for. So, anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching. This has been a wonderful stream. Uh, so, thank you all so much for joining in. And with that, I will finish off the live stream. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Just going to wait. It's almost at 185 minutes, so, you know, I have to let it run for the last 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half, six, eight, nine. Okay, end of stream. Have a nice night, everyone.